Welcome everybody, I'm Craven, and welcome to A Little Hope, another, I hope, a really nice, uh, slightly horror game from the makers of Until Dawn. Very curious about this, cause uh, we did Until Dawn, Man of Medan, and now we're gonna do this, Little Hope. This will also go to YouTube afterwards, so be careful with what you say, it needs to be nice. So, we're just, uh, yeah. We're gonna start this game and there's little sound here, so I couldn't really balance the sound. So I'm ho really hoping that if you guys think it's a bit too loud that you guys will let me know. And what to expect from this? Well, it's of course a blind playthrough because this is just released. It's the first time I'm playing it. It is Halloween, so it's the perfect day to play a game like this. Henceforth, why it was released like uh, yesterday or two days ago. So yeah. Uh, I'm hearing very good sounds of this game, I haven't read any reviews, haven't seen any let's plays or anything, just to be fully blind into this. And uh, what we're gonna do with the choices, uh, if people respond fast enough, we are gonna implement those choices. But I, I, I'm gonna see mostly uh, probably my own uh, intake into this. Because it's our first playthrough and maybe in the future we're going to do it again on stream. And then we can do like uh, people's choice or something like that. And then we're going to decide on which one you guys want. If we want to go like full evil, try to kill everybody in this game. I don't know if that's possible. On the dawn you could kill anybody, nobody and anything in between. So I don't know if this is... Uh, in Until Dawn, on, in uh, Little Hope, exactly as it was in Until Dawn. So we'll have to see how that goes when we're playing through this. So, without, uh, let's, uh, I say, let's start the game. Let, let's see where it goes. I'm very excited about this. And I'm gonna try, I'm generally gonna try to see if we can do this entire game in one stream. But I'm sitting on a wooden chair right now. So it's really uncomfortable, but it could also enhance the stream itself. Cause that means that if the game wants to make me feel uncomfortable, I can feel uncomfortable as well. Afternoon, is it that? <laughs> Welcome Vicky. Yeah, I was uh, trying to stretch it out a bit until you uh, showed up, so yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, I don't wanna see if the chat is disappearing or not. That's the only thing I wanna check before we go live, cause because it's a really like a movie tying game. I don't want it to be on there the entire time. So let's have a little check on that. Or else I'm just gonna remove it if I if I don't know. Not there. It is beautiful. Yeah, it was uh, on permanently. So now text will still be there, so you guys know what I'm talking uh, to for people. So yeah. I guess there's nothing else to do than just starting it out. <laughs> and the text day for 25 seconds. So it shouldn't be too long, so yeah. And uh, we're testing it right now with what you're saying, so it should be okay. And uh, we can adjust it uh, during the entire gameplay, so yes. So, Vicky, you go and enjoy it while you're eating your little pizzas. And we'll start this game and see what kind of choices we can make. So, let's start it up. And hopefully it's stable, because that's the one thing different with Man of Medan. Man of Medan, we had to cut short because the stream kept lagging, because the game was horribly optimized. And as it was on an older PC, with my new PC, I'm hoping this will be perfect. But if you see any lag or the sound is too loud, definitely, definitely let me know. And uh, we'll see what we can do to adjust it. <laughs> Chewing on rubber. That's not a good pizza. You gotta get a better pizza. Uh, don't play alone. Yeah, we're gonna play alone. Uh, I will want to try and play it with friends somewhere in the future. First, uh, I will see if I have a friend that actually has this game, but yes. But for now, we're gonna play alone. And I hate that the cursor is in the screen. That's really annoying the hell out of me. But yeah, play alone. Uh, 
I'm hoping that during the game, once I put it out of there, it will stay out of there. So, continue, new, yeah, this is totally new. I haven't even started anything of it, so yeah. New save slot, definitely. Uh, to play with a controller, press A. To play a pony, no, A. Remove the cursor! <laughs> when you're loading the game, come on. Yeah, when you play with another person, it means that you play someone else from the group and you will see other stuff than what the first person is seeing. So you get like a more well-rounded story. Let's see if we can recognize all the actors in this. Because I know one person in this that I've seen in the trailer, and that's the guy who I think the most well-known move for me is like Maze Runner. Not the main character, but one of the side characters. I know he's played in a lot of different things as well. So I wonder if all the other actors are semi-famous as well. So far, stream looking good. Oh, th thank you, LS. Th thank you very much. That means I will have to change my cam to a different position, if I can. So we'll pause it as soon as we have control and we'll switch the camera to another location. But uh, thank you very much for that tip. Very much appreciated, because I want you guys to see the choices as well. And that's extra proof that this is a blind playthrough, because I haven't seen anything of it. <laughs> Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. Okay, I doubt that's very a short strange. Delay trouble too much. Very suspicious. <laughs> Head up the east road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Yeah, there's probably some kind of backstory to this as well. But we'll just probably find it out later time. Any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. That uh, the facial graphics are looking very nice. Definitely improvement in both uh, men and men. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. Yeah. Welcome to Little it's Hope. Fine. <laughs> Just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? There he goes, straight away. Ah, so this is a ghost story. Bearings updated. A girl stood in the road because the bus driver lost control and crashed. Okay, so this is basically like uh, what we're doing right now or which direction we need to go. All right. You know what? I might as well do it now. Change the camera before we actually have a choice. So give me one second and bear with me 
and I will probably cut this out of the YouTube feed, but yeah. Exactly. Don't mess with the bus driver, guys. Let's see if my background is okay still. No, there's still a bit, bit there. Uh, let's see if I... Can I... I should be able to mirror it. Da, 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 da. Flip. Level it. I'm doing that. Woohoo. So. Yeah. <laughs> this works as well. Alright, so. Yeah, all the way to the other side. So, uh, people watching right now think, what the fuck happened? Did I miss anything? Yes. I switched the cameras. Because LSN5 really was uh, very nice to tell us that uh, there will be a lot of choices. It, it looks weird because you're not expecting it. I, I know you don't like change, Vicky. I, I do. So, let's get straight back into the game. Everything should be okay now. Stop it, Shane. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. True. Reverend Carson <laughs> held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. <laughs> I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is? You're not the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Damn. Very heated <laughs> argument. Of characters we don't know yet. Not tonight. Girl or ever no looks way. very creepy already. Bonnie Tramp. Why does it feel like something really old? January 16th. She always is these days. Uh, it's on the other side. Uh, say nothing in different. Oh. Tanya has always been late. All right. Nah, not really. Only since she's been seeing him. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> well, at least the uh, circle week. isn't on my face, so... He shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> Damn, the girl really looks creepy. He's gonna be the evil, isn't it? Hey, Bigfoot! Mind the goddamn vinyl, will ya? Uh, don't be a dick. Yeah, don't be a dick, man. Come on, man. Take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? Why the hell not? Because these are clearly adoptive children, so yes. You gotta stick up for each other because your adoptive parents will never do that. According to movies, at least. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Uh, resentful? Uh, some dad we got. Uh, resentful. 
Disappointed, yeah. Always be disappointed. Really fell through the front door. Some dad we got, huh? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable. Like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the ten millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> it always is. I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. <laughs> What's curled up his ass? Uh, annoyed? No, 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 no. Amused. I think it's a bro. It's like a other brother. So yeah, let's do amused. Just Dennis doing what he's good at, being really Dennis. What a surprise! Yeah, I'm mostly gonna pick the first answer that comes in my head that I hey, feel Dennis. like fits. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. crazy okay who's doing that oh. yeah that, that little girl is definitely Excuse evil me, sweetheart I heard you talking about me not now Megan I'd like to have a bath in peace take a break from this madhouse for a while when and take a bath in pieces Something it's not bad's a great gonna idea happen. For me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Uh, aggressive? Con no, concerned. We are gonna be a good brother. Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal <laughs> duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. Like, like I said, the, the parents look like shit, but the adult children really need to come back together and be like an actual family. Uh, press and hold RT to pick up objects. Use R to examine. Some interaction reveals secrets. Secrets you find can be viewed in the collection and character screen. All right, let's grab it up. Yeah, it's it's matches. What what, what else do you expect? <laughs> Falling asleep behind the TV. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you timed this just right so we don't wake him up, or else hell will be paid. Hey, I was watching that. <laughs> That's what my dad always used to say. <laughs> you need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. They're sarcastic. Say nothing or reassuring, because we are doing that. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Ah, <laughs> uh, so yeah. We finally get to move around. Can we interact by just pressing on people? I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a prom like that, but yeah. 
Okay, so these are going to be our first moves in the game. I already see like interactable objects are uh, lighted up with a flare, so we know what it is. Shroud of Innocence. Perfect distraction from this madhouse. I must read for anyone with an interest in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. To say I'm interested would be a slightly stretch of the word, let's just say on that. <laughs> Probably gonna pay a part in this game later. Oh, it's definitely gonna play a part later. <laughs> the New England Witch Trials. Little Hook Museum, 799. That's not bad. I've had far more expensive books in my days. It really is slightly strange the fact that this dad does not say, hey, hey, put the noise back on. Because he's drunk, he's watching his game. The fact that he's considering the sound for his children is actually not a bad thing. Doors are locked, not allowed to go. Megan Clark. Uh, attendance? Absent. Days absent. Okay, one three zero one two seven. Tardy. Yeah, not a very impressive attendance record, is it? Wow, Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. <laughs> Below seventy or a failure. All right, so F or yeah, there's a lot of Fs in that. That's not a great uh, scorecard. Bit basic though. Do you think this game is like in the past? Because they are dressing like very um, old school, if you know what I mean, like in the eighties, uh, nineties kind of Anthony, stuff. Where the hell are you? All right. Anthony, where are you? God damn it! Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. You could be right about my family. I think so too. Tanya, Ooh. what's going on? She's that possessed. That locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Oh yeah, old house linoleums. Shit. Damn, they're Megan. burning like crazy. You in there? The kitchen's on fire. Are you fucking serious? Megan, I'm well, busting the window or anything. Do something, save at least somebody. <laughs> Tanya can just jump down if uh, push comes to shove. Where the hell is yeah, she's everybody? definitely locked in the bathroom. <laughs> little Macon killed her entire family. What a little bitch. <laughs> Exactly. He's not giving his full effort trying to get into that house.
Oh yeah, he's definitely that. <laughs> I don't think Megan wants to get out. Second death. The death count comes faster in this game than in uh, Man of Medan, that's for sure. Ah, we can finally move. Help Megan, help Tanya. I I'm sorry, but Tanya, I... hold on! I gotta get Megan out! I, wanna, I, I know that Megan did all this, but it's a little girl. Oh shit. Oh, she's definitely dead. Oh, uh, is she gonna be pissed that I didn't choose her later on? Or is she gonna die now as well because I chose Megan? Oh, yeah. One of the reasons why I like and dislike this type of game so much, because you feel like you always are making the wrong choices. Yeah, me too. And um, the man who's playing him. Ooh. He's dead. Damn. Oh god, evidence that he burned the thing down. Mom, stop! Say what now? Okay. Better than I didn't expect. Did he just die? Or are we gonna see what happened later on? Well, hi, Mince. Welcome to the stream. Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> Won't you me over yeah, she is stupid that she walked back in and died. Because as I was Tanya, I would have just jumped from the balcony right onto the uh, snow. I might have broken a leg, but at least I would be alive. Uh, so 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 funny to see that the little hiccups this intro has, exactly the same intro as Man of Dan, exactly the same problem that it had. <laughs> Quickest game over yet. Well, I've played games where I were game over a lot sooner. There were a lot of older games too, but yeah. Yeah, let's hope um, Twitch won't delete my entire VOD afterwards. <laughs> but uh, welcome to the stream, Mints. Hopefully you really will enjoy this a little. And I really hope that the sound balancing is a little bit okay. And like I said, if ever it's too loud or too soft, just let me know. Yeah, but uh, compared to Man of Medan, the graphics has improved a lot. It really has. At least that's how my mind sees it. Because I'm remembering those beginning scenes where textures were very poorly rendered. But who knows? Maybe I was mistaken. But we'll see. And it's always about the story. Not so much Hello. about how it looks. <laughs> and welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator. I'm going nowhere near your repository. Wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Hmm.
Yeah, the guy's a little bit like the Crypt Keeper. The Keeper of Stories. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire... No, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter... a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. I'm sure how we disturbing will. might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless, and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. <laughs> how many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What more. are you? Rational? Emotional? <laughs> Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. Ooh. To the end of the journey, you guys know what kind of person I am. Because it's going to be my choices. <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. <laughs> but I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. Thank you, sir. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. It's a funeral. Mm. You do not have fun, though. Unless you really hate the person that's being buried, but what's the chance of that? So it means you're still on time. The most big part of the story is starting right now. You can still get into it. Ah, my ravens are part of this as well. Beautiful. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. All in that one casket? Damn, it's gonna be crowded in there. Damn, game starts out uh, pretty well. I'm impressed. Thank you for the extra explanation to me, Sir uh, Vicky. Okay, so <laughs> Andrew, 18, college student, anxious, detached. <clears throat> is this going to be the same kid, only later? I think it is, isn't it? Taylor, 22, college student, headstrong, sensitive. John, 43, college professor, rational, overbearing. 
Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ah! Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? Uh, compassionate or t terse? What do you want me to do? Uh, how's he doing? Yeah. How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. <laughs> Compliant or sarcastic. Oh, never. I, I, I want to be sarcastic. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn, I'd never have thought of that. Ugh, call for help. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. Good job you're here. Your current character traits can be viewed. All right, all right. Hey, Andrew, buddy. How you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though. Just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. More survivors? Go, that guy was definitely not the driver, so... Damn, looked like the driver got the flung out Fucking of the bus. Use this piece of crap. May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Ooh, new Ugh. guy. Heh. <laughs> Daniel, twenty. College student. Emble, defensive. Angela, 48, mature student, abrasive, understanding. A student? A mature student. Hey, <laughs> a very home? late bloomer, I bet. <laughs> hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John. Any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor, help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait, I don't remember anything. R who are you? <laughs> it's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. Press the mar uh, marching punt as before the timer run runs out. Okay, do it first, read second. Teamwork at its <laughs> finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. Uh, insistent or why leave the bus? Uh, reluctant, because I want to know why. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Uh, someone will come? Where's the... Not confidence. Someone will come if we stay here. You're wrong. We stay here, someone will come down this road sooner or later. What is your problem? <laughs> Antagonistic, not taking orders from... No, 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 no. Let's not uh, poke the bear just yet. Uh, relax. Relax, will you? I'm just not a girl who likes walking in the dark. The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. He definitely did not, but what happened to him? I have no idea. Aggressive, don't know where he's went, or you're right, let's go. No, aggressive, because we don't know where he went. So don't make Could assumptions. Just as easily have banged his head and walked off the other way. Fine, you can stay right here. I'll go myself. 
Hey, Professor! Damn, we are leaving her behind. <laughs> he is a professor, right? I'm still fuzzy. Can we stick together? I don't want to wait on my own. I guess he's right. We should all stick together. I got no signal either. Ah, okay. Must be some kind of black spot. Or you didn't pay your last bill. You get that during the crash? <sighs> guess so. All right, we can move again, and now we are the girl. And what I think, and this is just a theory, that's, that's a slight assumption for me, because yes, they are all the same actors as we saw earlier. I think that was a past life experience, yes. And it's probably gonna play some kind of role in this. What crawled up the professor's ass? <laughs> I think you should show him a little more respect. Nope. He thinks he's smarter than us, but book smart is no good out here. He's all up himself, acting like the big man on campus. What, what are you waiting there for? Is, do you see something? Ooh. Loose arts look around. Maybe some hidden information. Oh, wait. What's that oh, you're then? kidding me. Now what? Looks like something out of a creepy horror movie. <laughs> yeah, Actually, the Blair Witch one. I've seen stuff like this in books. It's there to ward off evil spirits. Jesus. This really is a night full of nightmares. Yeah, but uh, what's the blood around it? <laughs> That's what's creepy about it. Uh, there's some items around. I saw something shiny. Where? Behind us? Or are you talking about the area we're inspecting right now? Cause I did see something shiny uh, further up the road. Okay, that's good. Thank you. And you guys can definitely give me a warning when you see something shiny and I might have missed it. Uh, if I walk past it, then we cannot go back. Sorry about that, but we are partly, of course, playing this together. I am making the choices because there's really little time. But uh, for other than that, you can definitely assist me. Help me even. <laughs> Welcome to Abandon Hope. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Uninterested? How do I get out of here? Uh, curious, yeah. We're a curious bunch. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. Mm, I couldn't care less. How do you all know all this? H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. True. Yeah, I to be honest, I do not really like the professor. I think I'm gonna mark him as an evil person. That means I'm gonna do anything I can to work against him. Good to see you two. We finally made it. Everything okay? We're both good, but this gate is chained. We can't get through. Now what do we do? Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this will do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. Yeah, and of course, uh, another option is, of course, failing objectives and then go the story the other direction. But I'm going to try to do everything correctly I said I want to wait up when it comes to puzzles. Help, not head into town like John wants. And we've already concluded this conversation. Not with everyone here, we didn't. We should vote on it. No need for a vote. Decisions made. Uh, annoyed, definitely. Just because you're a professor, you don't get to call the shots. We're all adults here. Some of us are more adult than others. I'm sorry, but we really don't have time to be arguing. You'll stay here with me, won't you? <laughs> uh... Looks like he ain't so keen after all. 
If you got something to say to me, spit it out. John's right. Heading into town is our quickest way to find help. Satisfied? Yeah, she's got an eye on her teacher. Whatever you say. Damn it. Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. <laughs> Damn. Super confident. Surprise, he's not my boyfriend. I'm not wasting my... Scornful. Yes. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? I'm yeah. still not sure heading into town is such a great idea. I'm going to hang out by the bus while you all do whatever you have to. You want to come along and wait with me? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'll be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. All right. To be honest, so far, I'm not liking the two adults. <laughs> the rest, still uh, to be determined. No. We're back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Okay. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa, hey, careful! Watch out! Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. Some very weird this shining, uh, shining, uh, Silent Hill stuff. Definitely some weird Silent Hill stuff. What? what? I walked away from you. We're trapped here. There's no way out. I, I don't understand. She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? <laughs> okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. Yeah, you unless... You want to put us uh, on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Unless the game wants us to go to Little Hope, then it will not allow us to go back to the bus, does it? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's not allowing us to leave the city. That is a little odd. More than a little. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying. We are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. what can we do? Calm down. Breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. <laughs> yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Yes, Are you we for can. Fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. No, no. Feed the anger against the adults. I can't understand this. Don't you get that yet? What I do understand is none of us would fucking be here if it wasn't for you. You think I'm to blame? I don't want to be stuck here with you either. Nay, you're the guy in charge. We're definitely fucked. Right now, the fog appears to be in charge. Anyone but you, right? Do us all a big favor and get lost in the fucking fog. I wish I could Please believe me. Please stop. Fighting isn't going to help. Where do we go now? We're fucked. We're not getting out of here. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up! I can. Maybe it isn't real. I will definitely do it. We have to get out of here right <laughs> I need to think straight. Now. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? <laughs> this isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. 
Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Do we? Hmm? <laughs> now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There's nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Yeah, he's right. How'd you get that bruise? <sighs> no biggie. Must have got it when the bus crashed. Looks a lot like a rope burn to me, but yeah, we'll probably figure that out later. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Ooh, a black hat. Can we, can we go back for it? Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Where you go? Don't see it anymore. Oh well. Might as well uh, catch up with the rest of them. Maybe it's a witch. Because did so does uh, witch books. In the like prologue. That place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. <laughs> oh, go ahead. There could be we'll a be deathly right challenge you. inside. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. <laughs> what did you talk about? Did you blab about us? Yeah, she seems the person to do that. Did you blab to her about us? Of course not. Didn't say a word. Are you sure? Of course, I hope you did not. I would hope you didn't. I couldn't handle her knowing about us. She'd never stop talking about it. I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? <laughs> I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. Are we standing here all night or are we going inside? Yeah. I want to know what's inside. We need to figure out what's going on in this town. Because there is something strange happening in the neighborhood. Definitely. Okay. Nice little jump scary thing. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me. But we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're I'm trapped sorry there too? Sorry for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. 
He certainly looks shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. <laughs> it's right there if you change your mind. <laughs> uh, resolute, not for me. Reckless, I could do... No, no, no. Resolute, we don't drink here. You need to be clear-headed. Not for me. Oh, it's a professor. I thought it was for Andrew. Why are you even here? Little hope sure isn't the town it used to be. Okay. Okay, let's... How says you react? Curious? Do curious, yes. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. That's very strange. What does he mean by that? Uh, why are you still here? All right. Why are you still here? Yeah, if the place is as dead as you say, what are you still doing here? I come and go. You know how it is. <laughs> anyway, I can't help you. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, Maybe we should have asked by the phone. Of his own. <laughs> an old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little. No problem. I'm going to take a look around. <clears throat> you need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> it's fine. At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? a quick throw. And then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Not or... my first time, Daniel. <laughs> Shooting for double 20. Uh, use R to aim and R to tar on target. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. All right. Now for triple 20. Oh, I need to re release. All right. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> that is one <laughs> hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. All right, back on the case. But yeah, very strange to have a dart game in the middle of uh, a situation we have no idea what's going on. Really weird. Can we talk to anybody? Ooh, shinies. Uh, meeting votes for mm. disincorporation. I New rounds of foreclosure spells to end for town. All well, the factories closed down. So the scene we saw in the prologue with everybody dying, that was in Little Hope. Because this is a story that was uh, going on with the father. The professor looks creepy, just saying. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't like the adults in here, so I'm going to see if I can just uh, mess with them a little uh, in the game. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. <laughs> June 6, 1917. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Yeah, definitely. So there's a second date with people that look like each other. Weird. <laughs> LSRT 
no idea what this. Oh, these are scores for. No, it's not score for dart. You never have four four seventy seven. Astrology, spirits of history. ghosts. Nineteen seventeen seventy. Okay. Click, 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 click. Come on. Fuck. No need to curse. Not yet, at least. Come on. Come on, can we not interact with him? Or is there something behind? No, I, I think it's meant to be the guy itself. Ah, there it is. Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Oh, booze gone in my head. Aggressive <laughs> is to me. Listen to me, will you? Easy. There's no point in getting mad. What? I already told you what you want to know. Furious? What are you pissed about? Blind? We just need some help. Furious. That's basically what his are you character. So pissed about? No more. That's enough now. Uh, con search bar. Continue towards town. Let's see if we can talk to him anymore. So maybe we need to get out of here now. Yeah, but at least we know there's something weird going on. We just do not know what. That's basically it. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. You really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. True. Yeah, that guy Best definitely knows more. Hope you find what you're looking for. Yeah, he knows about the returners. <laughs> Right, when I was gonna get dessert. Yeah. Yeah, I think the action is not just uh, starting yet. We're just now it's trying to figure out where town. we are. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? Heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go? <laughs> We're not allowed to go back in. <laughs> Locked. All right, let's have a look around, see if we can find some shiny stuff, like maybe a painting that will show us a bit of the future. It might be a bit early, but who knows? A little Hope Town map. Where is view of our historical town? Uh, is there a here? You are. Th uh, there you are. Right you are here. Uh, two is the school. Three is the police station. I oh, would definitely want to go to the police station first. Lots of things to discover in this town. Empty postcard <laughs> with a witch's cauldron on it. Okay, so these are the things of the future. The pictures we see like a glimpse of it. 
not helping us decide what we need to do, but it gives us a certain view of it. Making us already think about it. Thinking about what we actually want to uh, choose in that situation. Yeah, let's try to see if there's anything else shiny back there. Doesn't look like it. Where is everybody else? I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears. It's not natural. <laughs> so at some point you'll get a gun at least. I'm hoping. That way we can kill the characters ourselves. I mean <laughs> we can protect ourselves. Yeah, definitely creepy. What the hell is this thing? Looks pretty similar to the one Taylor saw by the bus. John said they're to ward off evil spirits. Where would he get an idea like that? I don't know. He's a professor. He must read a lot. I have to admit, I'm curious about what it means. I've heard more than enough. Thank you. See that? Uh, apologetic? Did I scare you, didn't I? Probing. Are you superstitious? Definitely probe. Are you the superstitious type? I never believed in this kind of thing. Doesn't seem like you can say the Assertive same. Assertive or certain? Assertive. A lot of people still really believe in this kind of stuff. After tonight, I thought you might be joining them. Just because other people believe all sorts of garbage doesn't mean I'm about to. <laughs> Assertive. I do not agree at all, definitely. I don't agree at all. But we'll just have to leave it at that. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. <laughs> yes. Making a gap between the younger people and the older ones is working. They're starting to distrust each other. <laughs> My plan is working. Can you two make an effort to keep up? Nope. Hi, Crimson. <laughs> what the f <sighs> Okay. You just ruined almost a scare from the game itself with another scare, so yeah. Yeah, it's because of Crimson, he uh, made me hit watch, but I, I think I saw somebody walking by his feet, so yeah. Here! <laughs> But uh, yeah, Crimson, we can co-stream this game sometime. There's definitely no problem. I don't know if I can do the entire game at once in a separate stream for today. Yes, but this for first one is definitely going to be a single player one. Just for me. You're welcome to watch, of course. Megan. Or another variant hey, of it, at least. Can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. <laughs> Insistent. I definitely saw somebody. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody oh, what a real quite a hour. bitch. Uh, f fine, then don't believe me. Fine. Don't believe me. You two. We need to stick close. What the... What the fuck was that? That didn't seem human. What the hell? Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Oh. Oh, 
sorry, that was really weird. <laughs> oh, no worries, Crimson, we'll be here. Alright, so, that thing looked very strange. I want to look further into it if we're allowed. No, we're not allowed to go into that patch. Ah, so that's sad. So now we just need to press on to see if we can find the school or the police station. Because those two are the really closest one we saw on the map. Hey, wait for us! Uh, what if this reminds me of that stream of yesterday? <laughs> it's very little sounds. Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. A voodoo doll. E, 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 yeah. Megan. Okay. What is your name, sir? What the fuck, man? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Tell me your name, lady. Angela. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. In my fine and the British voice. She looks just <laughs> like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? No. Come play. No. Come play with what me. Which is no. trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I certainly truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Amen. Amen. Come back here. There's someone else out here by the fire. Why? Well, I, I don't see any fire. Okay. I saw them too. Are you okay? Frighten this place all right. Sorry. Did you not see that? Definitely. How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell them what we saw. She isn't going to, is she? A little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? <laughs> I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary... Did she want to hurt you? Uh, she might be malicious. I don't, I don't think she meant no harm. No? I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. <laughs> Got a better idea? Thought not. Now come on, we already decided to go into town, so stick to it. Yeah, we really need to keep an eye out on the background. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a lot of weird shit back there. Escalated rather quickly. <laughs> Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. You can. Remember? But won't. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. A 
On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, the little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps? Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. Yeah. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. I think There's he's trying to steer not us. Quite right, in little hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Hmm. <laughs> says no. You, I cannot help you. I cannot interfere. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. No, not Hogwarts. The repository. She sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was mm. from another time than another place. You're right. So now we're playing the old lady. Let's see if we can mess with her. We're doing certain stuff. That might be interesting because we don't trust the adult people in this. They're a little bit uh, jaded. But how are you, Crimson? Are you, how is your day going so far? And welcome to the stream. Yeah. I think we just got a confirmation about a gun, so yeah. Human sacrifice. The best kind of sacrifice. I'm beginning to feel like the rest is now... What the fuck? Where, where, where's the sound coming from? Alright, this is great. Let's just move on. Can't get to the house, so probably can't get into the house as well. Is that something? Don't think so. God damn, that's... Yeah, that, that one did get me. Fudge. <laughs> Might get a better view from up there. I was already going there. Well, thank you for the suggestion. Yeah, this game does jump scares very well. Ghost towns of the northeast. Hidden depths. Architects of. Blah, 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 blah. Man. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? Uh, fearful, I feel like makes no sense. No, fearful. 
I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? Uh, we'll find a way out or stay calm. No, just be reassuring. That's what old people do, right? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Checking up on each other. I think she was just being nosy. What the hell is that? <laughs> Gollum! Gollum! Can we shine upon it? No, that's definitely not there anymore. I do see light there back in the distance, but that could be anything. <laughs> yeah, it does look like Gollum. He was in the river. Uh, his flesh is all fucked up, so yeah. For the impression, it looks like a Gollum type character. You can disagree with me. The Witch of Edmonton. Played by Rowley, Decker and Ford. Could this have something to do with what we saw? Uncertain? It must be. It could be. Because we don't know if it's the same thing. I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. I thought the same when he popped right before time looking for a ring. No, we're not gonna find a ring. It's not Lord of the Rings, Mince. But if we do find a ring, we'll make sure to keep it so we can give it to him if he ever comes after us. Yeah, there's a lot of things happening in a short space and time along this road. Yeah, I would be scared shitless if I was walking around here. Who are you? Come here. <laughs> yeah, if someone's looking to me for me, I wanna know who it is. I think it was Megan. Yeah, and I'm calling her Megan, not Mary, because that's the initial name they taught us how she was called, so it's probably also how Andrew probably remind uh, remember her later, because he is he has seen the fires he said earlier at the bus. So it's definitely gonna come back to him. Probably the wrong memories, not the ones from now. <laughs> Vicky, sometimes it's best not to go looking for creepy children. <laughs> Maybe, but this is a horror game. I want not only to be scared, I want to scare you guys as well. There's something up ahead! Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. I think let's go to the school. Look at that! Hey! Wait! Stop! <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. Ring around what the to hell Rosie. Do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Hmm. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> uh, worried? I'll come with you. Hell no. Go by yourself. Be careful, please. <laughs> hey, Professor! Damn it! It's just like what happened to us. You think the Professor will be okay? And not the time for heroics. He's doing the right thing. Disapproving. He 
knew what he was doing. This is not the time for heroics. Little harsh. <laughs> he could be in deep shit. What is this? Uh, it should have gone or gloomy. No, you should have gone. Maybe you should have gone with him instead of standing here hoping someone else would step up. <laughs> Back up a little. I could say the same to you. We both had the chance. <laughs> Desperate, I can't take any more resentful. No, no, no. We got, we got to keep in the same personality we have chosen I'm for her. I'm holding everyone's hand. John can take care of himself. <laughs> You're a real piece of work sometimes. You know that. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Sketch itless? What happened? Are you okay? I lost my bearings. I couldn't see you through the thick fog. Did you see the little girl? I could see you back there. That's really odd, because I sure couldn't see you. Your clothes looked different, and your accent was off. You sounded like an actor in some historical play. It must have been someone else you saw. I teach you. I know you. I recognized your face. Whoever you saw, it wasn't me. Now please stop. You're scaring me. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. <laughs> Let's try. Let's go to the school. Don't See if we can find some creepy children. Movies. You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with John. All right, so approving I'm with Andrew or reluctant? I'm with Andrew, because that fits with her. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Cut out, Granny. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out. Which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. <laughs> yes, let's split up. That way, we can kill them off a lot sooner. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. <laughs> Bring back Emily. No, that's the, that's another game, uh, Gramson. That's gonna be a later date. Can we go after them? Mm, we can't. <laughs> we have chosen. Now we need to stick to it. Yeah. So basically, Andrew is with the two people I do not like in this game so far. Two people I will try to knock off if we can. Just, I'm already warning you guys. I have I have set personalities for certain characters we are playing. Not so much for Andrew yet. Uh, well, Andrew, I mean for um, I, I a guy, can Daniel? Yeah. Hold up. You hear that? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Okay, what was that? Okay, I don't understand what the game wanted me to do there. But yeah. Are we okay here? We're good. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. Yeah, but why did you jump off in the first place? You got an explanation for what we saw? Hell no. That makes sense. 
I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. Yes, Vicky, it did look like a guy on a freaking uh, cycle, yeah. Maybe they're referencing Saw movies, like with Jigsaw, with a little thing on it. What's up? Concerned? Subdued. Uh, they're concerned. Because he's the nice you? guy, Andrew. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. I am more or less, but something here just... Uh, what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach. We all have our own way of coping. John here feels the urge to be our leader, the alpha male. <laughs> Whereas Daniel and Taylor feel an entirely different, somewhat more animalistic urge. Yes, they want to be together. Impressed. Is that how you deal with all this? What are you saying? Are you saying what I think you're saying? Grow up a little, Andrew. If you were stuck with Taylor, you would be no different. <laughs> Damn, scornful little uh, woman. Doubtful, girls aren't interested in me. We've got bigger worries now. Yeah, dismissive, definitely. We have bigger things to worry about. We do. I'm not sure we're really getting anywhere. We should catch up with John. <laughs> yes, uh, Mins. This town, people are very active at night. You can already tell. Another one of those uh, stick figures. So we are protected or are we exactly going as the spirit wants us to go? Okay, so uh, the creature in the story is dragging his feet along a little bit. Yeah, he needs to catch up. And what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? <laughs> uh, encouraging or disapproving? Uh, yeah, let's just be positive. That's Andrew. Andrew is nice. I guess I'd try to stay positive. Do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there. You think that was really supernatural? Thoughtful, it looked that way. No, no, uncertain. We don't know that. It could be like a toxic air again, like it was in Man of Medan, so uncertain. We really can't be sure what it is we've seen. Makes sense to me. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. Exactly. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. This is completely different. Well, this is completely different, but I know what he's going at, but yeah, let's do different. What's happening now is nothing like what happened back then. Not yet, at least. Don't be so fast to dismiss what I'm telling you. But yeah, no. Because this is like a visual interpretation. We are seeing things. We don't know if it's real. It's Witch Trials about. was bad decision making. Something totally different. People were scared of things unknown. Maybe later it will be more the same, but now it definitely wasn't. So I think my defiancy was, well, certain <laughs> or a logical decision. Fuck. Wait, <laughs> why is he running? Well, what a little bitch. <laughs> okay, let's be careful. We need to survive this. I want Andrew to stay alive. The rest, I don't mind.
<laughs> the black cat. <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. What exactly are you up to? I'm just taking a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? I won't tell if you don't. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, there's no one here. Yeah, he. Yeah. John is definitely a pussy. He's definitely not gonna be the authority figure in this uh, game. He doesn't deserve to be. Modern magic and ritual. More witch related stuff. Modern magic and ritual is a definitive guide to the subject of magic for the new age. Alright. Uh, casting lost spells on another, take three steps in the perfection of your own character. Alright. Yeah, we don't need to uh, get a lot of uh, connection here. We just want to get out of here. Ooh, a gun. With four bullets. Four other characters are here in this game. <laughs> you all done with poking around? Uh, I found, no, 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 no. I'm not going to tell anybody about that. Let's catch up with John. We should catch up with the professor. He didn't stop to give any lectures here, did he? Now, that gun is going to be our little secret. Our dirty little secret. What kind of place is this? <laughs> A place where they all believe in the supernatural. Yeah. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Because I feel like if I showed her the gun, she's going to tell John. And John, trying to be the authority figure, is going to try to get the gun away from me. And I don't trust him with it. I think Andrew can make the right decision or in the end survive on its own by using the four bullets on the four other characters. So yeah, I see possibilities of bloodshed and carnage. Not always a bad thing, you know what I mean? Professor? How did he get on the other side of the fence? Oh, he jumped over probably. There you are. Uh, you flipped out again? That was crazy, but no, no, annoyed, definitely annoyed. Stop being an ass. You flipped out again, just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. Oh yes, we can. What the hell was that in there? Uh, don't we? It was huge and scary. <laughs> yes! Oh, let's freak him out even more. Whatever it was, it was big and scary as shit. Really? Just thinking about it terrifies me. <laughs> I wasn't in the front line like poor John. Yeah, hilarious. I'm weeping with laughter. <laughs> yeah, he deserved that for running away. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Your face? All right. Stay close together now. Now we we need to find some stuff. So let's see if we can find some shinies. Uh, we could use a chair, but come on, that's too basic. We could use the gun, but then they would know. Yeah, we can use that. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No, we could do it ourselves. No I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? 
anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling it's, pressure. It's just a just rock saying. man. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. <laughs> oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. You think a rookie mm. can make a shot like that? Now I'm thinking I should have hit John in the face with a rock, but yeah. Looks safe enough. Yeah, John is being a pretty much like a douche. That, that's why I don't like him. That's why I don't mind if he died. That's why we're gonna sacrifice him. <laughs> Definitely. You're up next. Or wouldn't you guys agree upon that? <laughs> Little death and destruction never hurt anyone, did it? <laughs> ah, finally we can play as him. Let's establish his character now. A little, little bit. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. Yeah, I'm gonna see him as a character that's a little bit pushy with by uh, Taylor, but yeah. There's Megan again. Yeah, you should check out their personalities in the menu thing. Oh, we can, we can. Ah, okay. Okay, and the personalities, they change upon the decisions that we make, but this is how they are right now. So... Uh, it looks like he's sympathetic, defensive, and excited. Uh, he has the potential to be arrogant, amiable, and reckless. If we so decide upon it. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. John, these are basically his relationships with other people. John and Angela, because he went against them a little bit. That's why he's down and Taylor's up, because he followed her. Because he really likes her and he wants to get busy with her. If at all possible. No, you're saying it's not true? Yeah, it is, it is, it is. Okay, we got two pictures. That's the two that we saw. A lot of more pictures for us ready to find. Bearings. I still don't know what this actually is, but... I don't want to look at anything that might uh, spoil anything. And this is probably the path we can take, so I don't want to look at this too much, to be honest. So yeah, so this is basically the stats that he has. Uh, I don't know if we want to unlock Arrogant, but it might be able to do something later. But yeah, this is basically what the menu is. It's very minimalistic. Uh, just enough for you to know what's going on with the characters, rewatch uh, pictures that we found, see if we got more secrets for achievement hunting and stuff like that. And bearings, I have no idea what it is, but <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out if it's necessary. So yeah. Uh, Vicky, I don't think it will spot anything. It's more so you know what you've done, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so this lock. So the lock squares that we haven't done yet is not saying what it is or what we need to do. This feels more like connections or something. Because it's not like a path or anything. So maybe this is more like a recording to see of all the stuff that we find, how they are connected to one another. So here's a, a, the occult flyer with a couple of pieces that are attached to it. Uh, we have nothing with two attachments, so as soon as we find something that's attached to another secret, then we know for sure if that's the case. But if I had to make an educated guess, I would say that this is like showing all pieces bundled together on what it is, and if you lay them next to next to each other, you know what they actually mean, and it shows you probably what is going on here. Do a little bit more depth than we are doing right now. So yeah, but yeah, we can watch every now and then if you want to see. Uh, someone's stats, secret or pictures, just let me know and we'll watch uh, into it because it's not just me playing, it's us and we have all the time in the world. And like I said, I do want to play this game fully tonight. If we don't manage it, we can always continue later this weekend. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. Middle school. More little girls to be scared of. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. 
I might have made a bad call here. Uh, reassuring. Don't stress it. Yeah, because he wants to be with her, so he might as well uh, appease her a bit. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. Yeah, we're gonna make him think with another type of head. Who the fuck is that? Little Hope Bridge, 1692. Uh, Vicky, he seems like a good guy too, so don't make him too much of a dick. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like I said, I'm, I'm just trying to help him. He, he likes Taylor, it, it, that's, that's obvious. So if you were in this kind of situation, I would definitely want to reassure the one I'm with and not uh, try to be a douche about it, so yeah. Little Hope Bridge. Playground. <laughs> yeah, the little girl definitely went to the playground because because we looked at the at the map, we didn't see where she went, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna be on the playground, isn't she? And Taylor's walking straight into it. So let's check it out, see what we can find. I'm sure there's going to be a few shinies around here. Is that on the picture? I think it is. It's another kind of picture. It's a drawing. Can we pick it up? No. Seems like a little girl and a guy praying together. With a priest of some kind. Little girls and priests. Doing stuff together, not a great sign in the usual movies, but yeah. Not implying anything, just stating of all of most of the horror movies I've seen so far. <gasps> Damn, the sound, the sound design in this game is brilliant. It really is. Hey. Are you okay? Assertive, quite, no, no, concerned. Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. Is this the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? Yes, it I is. Have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. That didn't just happen. Quiet now. I will not be gone. What are you talking about? Get away, or he will find me. <gasps> the Inquisition of the Salem Witch Trials. Come on out, Mary. I know very well you're in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. Oh, that does not bode well. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! Let go of her! Let go of her right now! What the hell? What spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I have done nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. <laughs> so basically, we can see stuff and we can interact, but they cannot can see someone us. someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. Yeah, I, I don't think it's our job to get it at this time. I think we need to evolve slowly throughout the game. We know that the girl is in league with something spiritual. 
With the prologue with the fire, it was definitely with the devil, but is it here as well? It could just as well be that in every timeline, because I'm going to assume this is going to be about past lives, because we saw the picture of the First World War, we saw the fire before, and now this again, and all the things of the witch trials, again with the same type of people, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the one that's evil, because there's probably some evil in the group, has to be the same person every time. Yes. I like this story so far. They really are trying to... Uh, uh, well, not scare you, but uh, shaking you up a little bit. It's really pretty well done so far. I like it. Straight back into form. More on level of uh, Until Dawn. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. I know that that is a very old witch uh, testing device. It's like a dunk, dunk it thing. They put the witch on there and then dunk her underneath the water. If you drown, then you're human. If not, then you're a witch. Don't talk too much about it, but back then the witch trials were a mockery. Because they did all different kinds of things and if you survived, you were guilty. If not, you died and went to heaven. And that's usually how it ended up with, so yeah. That was Glad definitely one of those torture Both things. Of getting out of here. You'll see. Very interesting, though. I like the topic uh, of witches in this. Because there's so very interesting horror movies I've seen about it. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. <laughs> Let me help you. So far, the people we've met, not all have been so very helpful. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. Um, I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Well, to be honest, it's a path, so it has to lead somewhere, even if it isn't to a place that we want. But technically, he is right. <laughs> it will lead somewhere. The place must have been a grocery store or something. Stop the Raven the factory closure, yes. Well. Hey, ho, we won't go. Over here, look at this. Uh, hope for little hope. Uh, again, about the factory closure that we saw in the prologue as well. Can we get in here? Yeah, it's definitely gonna be locked. Let's just find another way. I already have an idea. It does look that the game now confirms that he wants us to go in there. So we have two ways that I see, but let's see what it is. Can you get through there? Sure, but I'm betting you can't. Uh, optimistic. I'll find another way, yeah. I, I find a better way. Don't worry, I'll find another way. Yeah, because she can definitely cut herself on that if she went uh, through there, and it's a very tiny hole. Too much of a tight fit. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. Ah! 
in hindsight, I thought we can also push it from the other side because we have the window there. We also have the stairs there. <sighs> to be honest, I think the stairs would be better because it doesn't involve us. Oh, we cannot push it back again. All right, guess that's gonna be it. Let me see if I can get this open. <laughs> Old factory windows. Those are things are heavy like shit. <laughs> also, very easy to fail, so be careful when you're going through there. Seriously? You're going in there? Uh, cautious. Let me go in first. Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. Uh, don't be a bit, no, no, reassuring. I'll be as fast as I can. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. Will do. I need your phone. <laughs> what for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Why don't you use your own phone? That is weird. Unless he wants to use two of them. Is it safe? Is it safe? Think so. <laughs> Come on, will you? Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, I'll look for another way around. So will we? Ooh, flashlights. Can you not bring... You didn't pick up a... F Why are you still using a camera? Pick up the flashlight, man. It's much better than a phone. And this way you won't uh, empty out the entire charge of your phone. In case you want to call later on for help. Uh oh. I don't know what it is, but I think we need to be careful. I wouldn't be too surprised if it's Taylor. He lost it in the crash. Oh, okay. Did not know that, Vicky. Thank you. Well, I didn't even remember that. Let's keep it at that. Hello? Th that does explain a lot. Who's there? Gonna be rats or something? Hey! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. <laughs> How'd you get there? Startled. You gave me a shock. You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. Come on, it wasn't sorry to be a bad guy. I'm just saying that you shocked the living shit out of me. Uh, playful. Yeah, definitely I got playful. company of the rodent variety. Gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Yeah, but uh, who can bet there might be something else in here but us beside rats? Maybe more little girls. Hold on. I'll be right there. Alright. I want to check out the other stuff as well first. Just in case. Ooh, what's that? Number one dad. Ah, that's a clue towards the prologue scene, cause... Was it? I think it was, right? Cause when he was trying to open up the door, it said number one dad, you know. Oh, come on, we need a break here. All right, let's see if we can uh, open up the other side.
Will you relax? I'm coming. Well, we are taking our freeze, <laughs> our uh, time a lot. This time I was counting on it. What troubles you? Tell me. What is happening? Sooner will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? <laughs> I, I cannot rightly say. Confront. Yeah, why not? Let's confront. Let's see what happens. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? Uh, perhaps. What rumors? I don't know you. Yeah, confused. Think the best reaction. What? I don't know you. John? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Something ails you. What? You seem changed, even your attire. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You'll be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this. My word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. Hell yeah. I'll catch up in a minute, Vicky. No worries. Yeah, gigantic hat with a belt buckle on top. Where the hell have you been? Come on, be honest about it. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? Yes. Be honest. I thought, uh, thoughtful they c could see and hear me. Yes. This was different. I think they could see and hear me. I don't know. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? Uh, I saw a woman arrested. I saw the priest again. Concerned, I think is a better one. I saw this woman being taken away. Arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. To spooky little girl, she gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. The woman, Amy. I guess she's in deep shit then. She definitely <sighs> is. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What the hell was that? What do you think? Uh, optimistic, yes. Let's take a look around. See what we can find. Alright. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Ah, come on, Angela. This place is a real dump even for this shithole town. <laughs> uh, that, that, that's Angela, all right. Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? 
These small town police stations all look the same. All right, as soon as we uh, can walk around, I'll give you a small update, uh, Vicky, but you didn't miss much. Gotta be a phone in here all right, someplace. yeah. So basically, what you missed was that um, Daniel went into the store, he looked around and he got that scene with uh, Angela being arrested. Well, the witchcraft version of it, back in the way past, by the name Amy, as her character had back then. I think in the 1600s, yeah, that, that's all you actually just missed, nothing else. <laughs> no worries, dog was being a bitch and wouldn't come back into the house. Oh, no worries. I am uh, taking my sweet ass time with this game. Trying to see as much as I can. That we don't miss anything. And so far, it's going pretty well. I'm really enjoying this. So much more than uh, Man and Madan. And the scares in it so far are on the level of Until Dawn. So at this point, I'm really impressed. In a good way. Yeah. That uh, very old cabinet. Looks like nobody's been here for years. Probably after the closing of the factory, probably. At least that's the first thing that comes to mind when you see a derelict building like this. That something happened to town that everybody left. And these kind of small towns, a factory is basically sustaining the entire village. And if that goes away, the town goes away. Reynolds? Little Hope Police Department, okay. Fine. Not the strangest thing I've seen so far in this game. Uh, let's see what's in here. Alright, locked. All right, beautiful. I've lost everything. Uh, Vicky, back in the other room, there was a picture frame you could inspect. Really? Huh? Let's have a look back then. See if we can find it. Ah, even before the locker room, okay. See this here. Oh yeah, I, I see. I see what you mean. Yeah, I decided to walk back because the two characters, John and Angela, were here. So I thought this is where we need to continue. That's why I went to the other part first. But yeah. <laughs> Old witch goal. Nineteen ninety-two. During the Little Witch trials, many of the crews were imprisoned here. Yeah, until we find the right thing, that will keep looking. Keep them reacting. Little Hope Police Department. Yeah, it does seem that we're already getting a few more of those secret things. Maybe even enough to have a check of to see if they are really going to be connected to one another. Fucking thing. Thought this was her way out. Nope, that's definitely broken. Uh, I guess the place you meant to go is that room that's near the locker room. Yeah, I think so too. I think we need to find a key to unlock it, and that's why we are investigating everything. Or that we need to restore power that it will open up automatically. Uh, 
there's got to be something else here as well. This place is big enough. Yeah, that definitely has to be something, John. Ah, a phone. And the camera is so focused on it, I'm sure that's where we need to be. So I'm going to check the other rooms first. Ooh, TC. <laughs> Hippie artifacts. You know what? Let's have a quick uh, look. Okay, these are the stats of Andrew. Andrew is at this moment detached, altruistic, uncertain, insecure, and anxious. And he can become fearful if we so choose to. Well, I want him to be positive. So hopefully fearful will not be in luck with him. But yeah, let's look at the secret. Ah, we got a whole bunch more now. Even one that is connected to one another. So let's have a check on that one. So this is the protect uh, protest sign we saw outside of the store. And this is the protest posters. And this is then the town closes. Okay, so this section is all about the closing of the factory in town. Uh, marks on the wall. Don't know what that means yet. Okay, I think I'm getting a clearer picture of what the, this actually is. I think these are all like segments, like certain uh, breach of information, like the closing of uh, the factory. And if we bound them all together, then we'll know what it is. And hopefully we'll unlock something with that. Interesting, interesting. But yeah, let's uh, head over to the phone and see what happens. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it will give us a call to the other side. We have a winner found a phone this could be our way out mine's dead of course <laughs> <coughs> shit <laughs> whoa hey take it easy can you stop reacting to every setback like a child Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. <laughs> All right, so we are cable hunting. Maybe it's in the hippie box. No, it, it's just the hippie thing. Okay. Uh, the John character really is needed. Yeah. What is that? Okay, that that got me a little bit. A little bit. What do you think? Answer it. Uh, let me think about it. I got this. Yeah, assertive. I can do this. Be careful. It's just a phone. Don't stress it, Professor. I should not be in this mess. I stand there falsely accused. What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. We have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Questioning impatient. No, no, questioning. We don't want to upset Can the person. You tell me what you're upset about. As I walked, a man appeared at my front. I reached out in fear. I had not seen him approach. This man I had never seen before. His clothes and manner of speaking were not familiar to me. Frustrated. Now reassuring. Okay, it's all good. I'm gonna help you out here if I can, but I, I need to know your name. Okay. Creepy little uh, woman. <laughs> Come here, girl. I will speak with you. you Good one, Vicky. Our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil words shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, 
or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Come now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time is gone begging. Go be with you, kin. Oh, their I priest is so sus. And good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? Uh, stay quiet. Yeah. Too many people in here. Stay. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors, those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. <laughs> yeah, that's you, John. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Approach? Yes, I'm gonna approach that one. I beg you, good judge, let us conclude our business here without further ado. Lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you turned against me so? <laughs> we will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. If I am correct, your you touch will release her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Oh, oh. He's, I'm, his character wants to do something. I'm going to do it. Fuck it. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. The master cannot help you now. Andrew is a good person. They are here among us. They are here among us. And they're very sus. No. What more proof is needed? That the devil walks among us in little hope. <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Oh, what a Protect little yourself. bitch. Damn. Seek out the Lord. Did you see that smile? That smirk. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. I can't believe how much that woman looked like me. How in the hell is that even possible? When you first told me, I thought you were messing with me or exaggerating. But seeing that woman for myself was a whole world of weirdness. <laughs> that little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? Fake. Definitely fake. The whole thing is current. Puzzle. Is the girl I saw in the woods? Yes. I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. Well, let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Probably not. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl. 
who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. <laughs> resolute, no, no, indignant. She's just a kid. Come on. She's just some little kid who most likely doesn't get how big a deal the whole thing is. She knows exactly how serious it is. Either way, the woman on trial, Angela 2.0, <laughs> she seemed like she saw us. And so did some of the others. You're right about that. They definitely saw us. A little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere? Could easily believe that was witchcraft, especially back then. Dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid. I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happen to see each other. How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, for sure. Puzzled. Her husband like like you. No oh, puzzled. That's a puzzled. I noticed something else weird. Her husband. He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? True, Vicky. True, true, true. We haven't seen Who's him that? in the hey, witchcraft professor? era. So yeah. Come on, let's go. <laughs> but hey, hey, it Taylor. was a different time. Maybe Andrew 2.0 in that time door. was already dead. We can't either. They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Taylor. Hey, Professor. Hmm. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nothing that's going to help us much. But I found this. It's kind of neat. I don't believe it. I saw this exact keychain in my dream. That's pretty weird. It's more than weird. It's significant. I just don't know how. Not yet. You still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. <laughs> you know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused, tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's going to happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. <laughs> the execution site. What yes. The hell? Let's see how she died. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit of an execution. Why not? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. Uh, optimistic, definitely. We'll pull through. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> John, main road. All right, time to be a dick again. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we're up to it. Lead your students. Hell no. And a postcard, not a premonition. Let's see. Weird. I'm getting an idea based upon the premonition that we're getting. What if we're getting a story of each of the every character that now we're seeing Angela's story and how she died in the 1600s with the witch uh, hunts? What if we, after that, gonna see 
a similar situation on how the others died in different times. That would be cool. Might make this game a little bit longer than I thought, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll manage. Very curious. Because it was definitely John uh, being taken to the police car. And I'm really doubting that it's this John. It did seem like a different version of him. But there's no way of knowing until we are further in the game. But it's nice to speculate about things that might happen. So we can base or you think about the choices we need to make later. Seeing if we can get there. Tilly Johnson. Broken statue. Taylor, you need to see this. You've got to be kidding me. What is that thing? You ever have any family here? In this shithole? No way. Why does that weird fucking thing look like me? Because <laughs> it was you in the 1800s. Wasn't the wish for us in the 1600s then? Oh, yeah. All right. So further look around. Pretty sure there's gonna be some other things as well. All the little things everywhere. All kinds of little clues, little tidbits. Hail rock and roll. Why would our bus be diverted this way? Makes no sense. <laughs> no surprise there. So many things of Daniel, different times. You need to see this. What's going on? Another coincidence. This guy looks just like you. Recognize him? No. And I've never been in a band either. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Well, with all these things we are seeing right now, that's what I'm inclined to believe, that we're going to see different stories of, diff of all the characters. And Angela is now the first one we're seeing. The one being accused. Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. We were never meant to make it out of here. I can't see for shit. Jesus! The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to say, but I think we need up. to go down there. Oh. Professor, you keep telling us you're in charge, so... <laughs> self assured uncertain. Uncertain, that's definitely his personality, so yeah. Maybe we need to check all our other options first. Right. Thought so. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> We're really painting a very bad picture of him. <laughs> I want off this bridge as fast as possible. But not that fast. Someone has to go first. You lead. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> of course. Did we unlock uncertain? Okay. Or did we lock it? We're gonna see Andrew when we control him to see if it's uh, that way. Woohoo! Separated once hey. again. My God, what do we do? We can't stay here. In this 
year of our Lord, 1692. We are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. <laughs> I do not deserve death. Nah, I beg we'll you. See. What's going on? What? Why do you look like Angela? Your words have little meaning to me, but I beg you. Help me. <laughs> The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. Are, are we going to help her, you guys? Are, are we going to help Angela or not? I need to know right now. I want your help with this decision. You cannot do this! I will decide myself, but yeah. The court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Little Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Little Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form <laughs> of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, little hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference in your very face. Isaac. Okay, that version died, but it's in the past, so we can't change that. If my theory is right, the past might now come for current day Angela. That could explain why they look the same. Tell me why we've been seeing this. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. You double drowned? Give us a moment. No. Be sorrowful. Your double was pushed into the river in chains. She drowned. <laughs> okay, something's coming. With a little touch of evil. <laughs> All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. <clears throat> yeah, the child is not trustworthy, but I believe Andrew would try to help the child because it reminds him of Megan, a sister of the past he doesn't remember yet. Rescue Angela. I, 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 I like her Come more than John. John. Hold on. Reach up and grab my hand. Jump up and grab onto me. I trust you. Okay, I trust you. Do it. Come on. Oh, <sighs> 
We got this, we got this, we got this. Come on, we can do this. And John saved himself. So what if we went for John? Would Anja then be screwed all the way around? Probably, didn't it? Oh well. We're a good person. <laughs> Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. I think you're right, Vicky. I think we changed well her fate. Done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. As the stakes seem to have been elevated, that gun might prove to be a lifesaver. Don't you think? Or the precise opposite? Andrew is keeping it quiet. Good move. <laughs> one, right? Yes. The boys have some interesting theories. Maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood. With that sour ferryman, which poets write of, unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. If the bus driver is still alive. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death, and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? Andrew. I dare say we'll find out. Or a little girl. Mm -hmm. I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? Mm, yeah, why not? Why not get the hint if we are given to it? <laughs> okay, then. We will once again turn to the bard for some cryptic inspiration I met him once you know I meet everybody once. <laughs> act 5 scene 1 where Cleomenes begs Leontes to forgive himself for causing the death of Hermione do as the heavens have done forget your evil with them forgive yourself All right, so we need to forgive ourselves. Is this a reference to Andrew and the death of everybody in the fire? Be, you should get back to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yes, uh, Mince, we are being chased by the ghosts of our lookalikes, basically. And I think I just saved Angela by saving her from her ghost. Just like uh, Vicky said, saving her from Wait. her faith. Is he gonna be pissed that I didn't even after him? Holy fuck was that? I've never seen anything like it. It was like something from a nightmare. Did you see the way it looked? The gaping mouth, those dead soulless eyes? Whatever it was, it's gone now. I was nearly gone. If that thing had caught me, it was so close. You've had the crap scared out of you. We all have. But at least we got the fuck away from it. Uh considerate or irritable? Should I be I should be grateful? Irritable. I want to do irritable. You saying I should be grateful? That I owe you for my life? No, chill. I I'm saying it all happened so fast, it's a good thing we all made it. Oh. <sighs> Angela, mm -hmm. what's up? What's going on? My legs felt like they were on fire. You okay? Okay. <laughs> Must be payback for all the climbing I did. <laughs> that thing, whatever the fuck it was, is still out there. Could be hunting us as we speak. It was in chains. Just like the woman who went in the water. 
I don't believe that's coincidence. Either of you see what happened to Taylor and Daniel? They can't be far behind us. Well, technically they couldn't join you because the bridge collapsed. So yeah. What the hell? Let's just get out of here. Did you see that in the background? A hunched over character, the golem one. But yeah, I I'm guessing we're going to try to survive with as much people as we can. Let's be good people then. <laughs> there, here lies the body of Isaac Worrell, 843, 1707. <laughs> Request in pace. Okay, so we're we basically on a cemetery. Yeah. In a misty dead of night on a cemetery. I will be scared shitless myself, so yeah. Okay, I wanna go this way. Oh, uh, here lies the body of Thomas Wyman, government magistrate 1701. And of his wife Mary Wyman, who departed in this life, 1699. Uh, Vicky, that's Isaac at least. Not sure who is the golem thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure we're gonna find out. Maybe that's basically an Andrew past thing? Maybe? Or it's the next person that we're going to uh, save from themselves. Okay, that's a gate. Uh, I want to check the rest first. The gate might open things up. I want to grab as many secrets as we can. Because there's a good chance that afterwards, after the stream, probably will replace certain parts myself as well. That thing is out there. But first, we'll see where we get by my own choices first. Here lies the body of Abram Alistair. Died February 1699. Factum fieri in factum. Non protest. Probably some uh, Latin thing. Yeah, we're heading now to the family plots. So maybe we'll find a grave of the little girl. I remember that. John of the past were uh, holding that, wasn't he? At least I think he did. Ooh, multiple graves. Oh, this is it's Yeah, this is it. Tragedy to lose someone at that age. This is this is the family from the prologue, the Andrew from back then. Treasured daughter and sister. Dennis Clark, beloved son and brother. Uh, let's see. Tanya, cherished daughter and sister. I'm impressed someone cares enough to still drop by this place. He was Anthony there, right? Yeah, he was. I'm, I'm gonna assume we're not gonna find Anthony. He might have survived the fire. And Clark. Also, because we only are seeing a certain number of graves. James Clark. See? No Anthony. Yeah, I think he might have survived the original and uh, Ardeal. He was rescued from the fire, maybe even accused of being the one who arsoned it. Oh yeah, was a misprint on the button? Well, you might as well check. Why not? So, uh, Angela, abrasive, skeptical, derisive, irritable, indifferent, truthful. 
and not a big fan of Taylor. <laughs> that's that's for sure. So yeah. Uh, Mince, I wonder who Golem is. Yeah, me too. Me too. It's definitely one of uh, our people. One of them is that character. At least a death form of it. Which one it is? So one way to find out. Yeah, I think it's time for us to move towards the gate. Yeah, but that little plot that uh, for the family, that gives us a lot of information. One, that the prologue of it, of the fire, happened in Little Hope, which I presumed, but yes. Now I have to confirm. And we have possible lead that Anthony, the previous Andrew, may not have even died. Or his grave is somewhere else. What is if he died, being accused of the one who arsoned it, will he then still be buried with his family? Or will he went into a poorer grave because he was basically a criminal? Oops. I tried to look everywhere for... Yeah, there it is. Uh, they're being hunted by multiple monsters, definitely. Let's stay away from that bridge. I'm all for putting as much distance between us and that hideous thing as we can. Pretty sure Daniel and Taylor would be thinking the same thing. Out of sight, quick! Shit! Oh, sorry. You okay? This was accident. That wasn't definitely an accident. It's him? What? Stupid old fool. Can I get some peace around here? Best to keep out of his way, I reckon. <sighs> I accidentally pressed the button. Buzzing in my head. To end what's happening in Little Hope, the little girl has to be stopped. Was she talking about stopping more witchcraft accusations or something else? I couldn't tell. Come on, let's go. I'll go in and take a look around. <laughs> Fingers. Yeah, there's evil afoot definitely in that town. But yeah, I pressed the button while I needed to press it along the lines and I accidentally did it too soon. I made a mistake. <laughs> How you doing? I'm wondering if that thing could be coming after us. Don't think it's coming after us. What makes you so sure? Uh, puzzled. It must be a one-off. Stick close to me. Assertive, definitely. You and me gotta stay real close now. When you say close... How close exactly? Very. Definitely. This close? <laughs> Intimate, yes. A little closer, please. <laughs> a little closer. A little bit more. Let's uh, always look a little What's bit that noise? back. Didn't hear anything. So if there's anything shiny behind us, we also would have seen it. <laughs> Witch trail. Little Hope historical trail. All right. I don't like this. I want to go another way. Don't think there is another way. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, but I think he's right, Taylor. Let's so suck it up. All right. Quite the tourist trail. Not a place I want to revisit. Now we're definitely moving forward in the town, heading towards the museum. Ooh, Tilly Johnson's home. 
is the one that looked like uh, Taylor. Hey, over here. You gotta check this out. <laughs> a really bridge. That is definitely gonna break, is it? That thing could still be around here. In the water. No, we left that thing way behind. We must have. Small shit. Small steps. You're going first, right? You weigh half what I do. Better if you lead. I'm not crossing this crapped out bridge, no way. To find the others we gotta cross. We got no choice. Fine. I'm heading across, you can follow me. If the bridge is still standing. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> oh man, you should have offered yourself to be first. That will make you come over as considerate, man. Bad choices, bad choices around. I don't know. <laughs> it's, just, it's definitely something weird, something scary. We'll find out, don't worry about it. You found out about Angela's uh, alternative. Now we'll also find out the rest alternative ghosts. I think they're all being chased by the ghosts of their past lives. So which one will be next? Who will be next? You see this? Witch grave. The stone is believed to mark the burial place of the first person executed during the Little Hope Witch Trials. The grave of Angela? Let's get out of here. <gasps> Daniel! <gasps> get your hands off us! Oh, wait. I'll pick you. Mary? Mary? Mary! I am over this way! Mary. The fountain of all evil is here. What's going on, Dubious? The little girl's evil? Unsettled, yeah. What? What evil? You know what's going on here? We sure as hell don't. You scared us half to death. You speak to me of that. This day, I have pulled my wife's body from a watery grave and buried her in the ground with my own hands. And all this because of her. Mary. <laughs> Who in the hell are you? Why do you look just like John? I have no answers for you. Perhaps I'm already under a witch's spell. There it lies. I found it. How did you come by this? Fashioned with my own hands. I take it to protect you. Suspicion and betrayal walk side by side in Little Oak. No one is safe. <laughs> Please, Tabitha, let me keep it. Yeah, and she'll try to figure out what's going on there. Should we trust the little girl? Or should we try to defeat her as an evil entity? I, I still don't know. She is at the center of everything, but is she guilty? Or is she innocent and we just don't know who's influencing her yet? Things we need to figure out. It's kind of the fun thing about playing a game like this. Nothing. No working phone anywhere. Okay, so it looks like we really are trapped here. Still no sign of him? Nope. Not yet. I just hope they're both okay. I figured we'd have found the bus driver by now. Wonder where he's at. <laughs> Why can't you leave us alone? I think she wants us to go after her. I think so too. Enthusiastic, let's go after Francis. This might be a trap. I think apprehensive would be more of her character, yeah. 
You want to follow her? She could be leading us into danger, even a trap. Two girls we've seen. One is from the past. This one is from here and now. Maybe the girl we're seeing here is somehow a mirror image of the girl from the 17th century. Don't you want to wait for Daniel and Taylor? If they were coming this way, they'd be here by now. <laughs> Stay loose. Who knows what's up ahead? <laughs> I don't know. Only one way to find out, and that's by moving forward. <sighs> Angela is so hey, unsettled. You can see it in her face. Hello, <laughs> little birdie. Shoo! No, no. There was a very short reaction window. <laughs> Angela, run. <laughs> And then she's walking normally here. Come on. Oh, one misclick and I almost killed her. Yeah, there's no way any of them are gonna survive this. I am generally trying to do my best here. To make them all survive. Not the first choice, but uh, might as well. So did nothing even well, matter what we did? That. It's just you and me now. Until Taylor and Daniel get to us. Hey! <laughs> Damn. Vicky something missed something. The door. Give me a hand, will ya? All right. We don't know yet if she's dead. She might just be held captive somewhere. But that's a choice we need to make later on. This place is a museum of some kind. She in there? Relax. This doesn't feel right. Stay focused. We're not having a rerun of what just happened to Angela. You sure about that? I'll do whatever it takes to keep us both safe. Once we're out of here, we'll hook up with the others. That's if they're still alive. But yeah. Uh, the Why thing you missed, here on her own? Angela got captured it's by her strange. ghost, basically, yeah. Maybe she's linked to Mary somehow? Gotta be. Though how and why, I'm not sure of yet. Same book as uh, in the original house, yes. And I think we're in the museum now. That's why the book is here. Hmm. 
Writ of Forfeiture. This writ is served by the Board of Selection of the 17th date of January 1692 by you are ordered to, to care. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Is it uh, like uh, to condemn the land thereon? Wow. Is that a depiction of how to crush uh, somebody? Damn, there's a lot of medieval torture devices in here, is it? <laughs> Disturbing. Very. You creep the hell out of me. Uh, can you imagine if you just go over back and forth with your light and then suddenly one of them has a face? <laughs> oh, that would be scary as shit. Definitely Angela. For Amy Lambert, first of the accused. Amy was accused of witchcraft by the girl Mary Milton, who claimed she saw her fly on a twig of willow. On top of the court that Amy had been sent by witness many miles away, Mary stated, I saw her lips ever chattering to whom knew what, and recognized her as a demon I sent in Amy's form. Pensy Carver admitted this to the record as spectral evidence. And that's like some Japanese folklore. <laughs> yeah, in the end, even if stories are from different countries, they do in the basis have like same type of archetypes and stuff. Because they're trying to do the same thing. <laughs> Ready for transfer. This is what the trial was all about. People being in cahoots with the devil. Right. And this kid, Mary, who snitched on everyone. That's gotta be the girl we're seeing. Yep. This is her signed confession of what she's seen. Uh, the enclosed puppet or hey. doll. Take a look at this. All right. I've seen this before. Where? On the road outside that shitty little bar we stopped at. Angela and me saw it laying there, picked it up. Right before that kid Mary scared us for the first time. Interesting. Uh, this could be fake. Did she lead us here? I think suspicious is thing better than skeptical at this point. You think she maybe led us here? Wanted us to see this? Oh, definitely. She definitely wanted us to see this. Let's take a proper look. What the hell, Professor? There are many, many stories about how spirits can attach themselves to objects. Sure, in movies. Take it easy, will you? What if Mary's spirit is somehow attached to this thing? We burn it, and this could all end right here. <laughs> uneasy supportive I'm not gonna support John I don't like him uneasy look at it another way maybe by burning her precious things it's just gonna piss the kid off you might be right Yeah, I was really hoping there was going to be something in the background, but there's nothing. Not even a movement or anything. Like a twitching of the corpse that was hanging in the, uh, there from the wall or anything like that. <laughs> sus. Yes, very sus. So what's this? Oh, this is uh, what we saw before. The act of uh, Mary doing the twitching on the floor. At least an artist's rendition of it. And that's a window. Yeah, a cat didn't scare me. Get 
that out this way. Where'd that little girl get to? She let us in here and then disappeared. Maybe that was her plan all along. Lead us to the puppet. Job done. I'm not sure about that. Me neither. W way too easy. She definitely wanted more from us. Almost out of juice. No signal out here anyway. Find the way to the others and stick together. All right. But I'm going to do one other thing first. I'm going to have a little bit of a stretch. So I'm going to put it on the B right back screen. And I'll be back in like 30 seconds. I'm just going to stand up, stretch a bit. So give me a little bit. Let's go into the bearing menu to see Daniel's face. Okay, so be right back. Alright, back again, sorry about that, but I'm sitting on a wooden chair for the last three hours, so I need to move around a bit. I'm gonna have a new chair this Monday, so from then it will be all the way back to normal. So let's continue on, let's see how far we can get with this. We're pretty far in, already three hours, so much we've already seen, so much we still do not know, so let's continue on and see what we can find out. And first, let's find a way to get back together with the rest of them. You hear that? Maybe. Heard something, not sure what. Guys? Professor? That you in there? Can we just get out of here? Where the hell are the others? Probably as lost as us. You think they're looking for us? Could be. Angela's got no interest in finding me. That's for sure. Mm. She's got a mean streak, all right. But she's got some heart. You sure about that? Yeah. Known her for a long time. Longer than any of you. She's been through some real shit. But she's still got a soft side. Yeah. I guess you're right. Hmm. <laughs> Not if we decide to make her a little bit more resentful and of course they don't know Angela's been captured who knows maybe they'll come across her captured somewhere and then they can rescue them her all right ten bucks says no one's home I'm not touching that still first place we've seen in a while find a way in like find a way found in found a way into that store you a burglar in your spare time? <laughs> no. But I was in a past life. Very um, relevant joke into this game when <laughs> it's all about their past lives. <sighs> Not getting through this way. Yeah, at least not for now. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure we're gonna find another way. Or maybe not. <laughs> Climb? Hey, Taylor, check this out. Check what out? Don't think anyone's visited for a long time. Oh, yeah. And that's ten bucks you owe me. Don't owe you squat. I never took the bet. Fair enough. It's loose. I can jimmy this open, no problem. Then do it. We could have a big pow of who goes in first. But we both know what's gonna happen. Right. Yeah, you are sure gonna thing. go in. <laughs> You're the man. Oh, what the? What? That's... Oh, Easy shit. now, tough guy. Don't beat up the scary doll. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Get your ass in here. Are they now in another room with the museum? Or in a multiple uh, buildings like this? Come on, this way. Definitely the museum. Because I remember this. <gasps> Are we going to see the faces so on the hangings? They're freaking me out. <laughs> What's up? I just... I just saw something. <laughs> Annabelle. Where the hell are you going? You sure this is a good move? Nope. I did see feet there, right? <gasps> what just happened? Doll's gone. Did John grab it? That you? Taylor? John grabbed it, didn't he? Even though Andrew said that he shouldn't, he did, didn't he? Your father. Right. <laughs> Taylor! You okay? What's going on? <laughs> Come on! Come on, put your back into it. I heard voices. I saw my fucking self looking back at me, dressed all weird, speaking funny. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, sorry. Accused story, you wanted up. Pathetic. Sorry, I tried to stay with you. I don't want to sound pathetic. I'm going to say nothing because neither of the answers is something in my line. This woman, the one who looked like me, they just dragged her out like some kind of criminal. I mean, shit. Let's get out of here. I hear that. All right, and just as a slight warning, there are some um, little jump scares here and there. Not a lot, but a few small ones. Ooh, a knife. I found a knife. Maybe it was a knife once. 
when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Think we should bring it along? Yeah. Here, you take it. Uh, why? It's obvious, dummy. Self-defense. Reluctant? No, confident. I'll take it and I'll protect you. Yeah. Okay. Small price Alpha to pay to feel better. I got it. And why are you a fan of Taylor, uh, Vicky? Certain characteristics of her personality, or...? I'm not saying I like her, but it's more like... Mm. So the only character I actually like is uh, Andrew. But it could also be because of the way the character is from other movies that I've seen him in. She's annoying and whiny. I like Andrew and Daniel. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna try and go out the same door that. Uh... What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it! Oh yeah, that that got me. That definitely got me. Yeah, and that, those are the type of jump scares, and that's about it. Uh, Mince, she does seem like the cliche girl in horror movies who needs a lot of attention, complains a lot, does nothing much. Uh, I can examine the stuff, but it's basically the same things we have already examined. It's like the same pictures and stuff like that. I can, if you want, but I don't think it's going to get the same result or a different one. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I didn't expect it to. Only the one that I find interesting is the case with the puppet. The puppet is gone. And I really think that John might have taken it. And if so, then he deserves to die. <laughs> Come on, this way up. <sighs> All right. Hello. Are things becoming any clearer for you? Absolutely not. That thing, whatever it is, just keeps coming for Angela. Unrelenting. I do hope she's okay. <laughs> Come on, give me a hint. Anything. Another instrument of death added to the group's collection. Good work. Let me help you out. Give you one little hint. Thank you. I'll gladly take it. Well then, how can I put this? We each have our own demons. They are ours and ours alone. And they are often born out of regret. <sighs> I'll leave you now with some wise words from a great Irish playwright I once met in uh, Paris, I believe. <clears throat> Never judge anyone shortly. Every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. Mm -hmm. Emily. She's just a child. Let's speak again later. And that's the hint. The child may not be as evil as you might think. Looks I think like that's the hint she's giving us. He's giving us. The, the professor and the others can't be far. Hope you're right. We've been shit out of luck so far tonight. Uh, Vicky, I like the curator. I wonder if sometimes it's better to not take these hints. I don't know. 
Yeah, but like I said, it's a phase first playthrough, and I like the hints. It gives us a little bit extra information, uh, something more for us to speculate about. Could it in the end mean that it the might have been better like if we him. didn't? What did she do to be taken like that? Not a great omen for sure, but nothing's gonna happen to you. But uh, you know, time will tell. Oh, things are gonna go way more action uh, oriented later. I can already tell. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, King William's War Commandery Day Massacre. Those taken into slavery, those killed. Uh, let's try not kill Daniel. <laughs> Why? You got a small little eye on him? Hmm? Not well. Like I said, I'm gonna show you if I can try and save everybody. The only one I might kill off is John. That's because he's a douche. <laughs> Other than that, nothing personal. Okay, let's see if we can get to the house for more interactable objects. Ooh, Tilly Johnson. Even the writers here don't have happy endings. Sure looks that way. <laughs> Mysteriously found dead in her home of 1858. Yeah, and we know that Tilly was the basically tailor in a past life. So yeah. Yeah, it's it's, it's probably for for the better, but we I don't know if we'll be able to. That mist is really thick. What's happening? Okay. Okay, that was weird. I'm gonna look again. It, do I need to look down or something in it? Or up? No. Okay, that, that, that's, that was freaky. Alright, Miss was playing games with me back there. I can tell. Why? I do not know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I hope I get to make things right with Angela. A lot of bad, weird shit gone down tonight. Yeah. Trust me, I don't think you will uh, definitely not be friends. But you might be able to uh, stomach each other again if you want to. Foreclosure, bank owned, keep out, little hope, welcome center. We're the first tourists this place has seen for a long, long time. Why would anyone come here anyway? Well, this place is a ghost town because there is nobody here. If this town was full of people living here, it would technically not be a ghost town, you know what I mean? So, yeah. It's a bad assessment. Uh... Taylor, okay, can we get in between there? Viewpoint I had. Where the hell is that coming from? I don't know. I, I don't know. think we're just about to find out. Uh, an archaeological dig site here in 1955 identifies a layer of ash and bone fragments. The site is thus believed to be the location where people were hanged and burned at the stake during the witchcraft panic of 1692. It's unclear which of the accused was executed here. Little Hope Town Tourism. 
Ah, it's the execution tree, isn't it? Yeah, let's go down there. I'm pretty sure something's gonna happen there. Hopefully we'll find John, Andrew and come back together again. Maybe formulate an attack plan to see if we can find Angela again. Ooh, hello, Raven. Come on, you can do this. Oh, don't you call at me. Get over here. This is impossible. I know those markings. This is my old tire swing. Look, here, see? Hey. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. You don't get it. See these stars? I painted them onto this tire with my dad when I was 10 years old. You sure? Hell yes, I'm sure. This is my tire swing. How come it's out here? Can't be. Just looks the same. Just a coincidence. A <laughs> paranoid or spiteful? You're a real dumbass? Oh, paranoid. Can you listen to what I'm saying here? This town knows me. Hey, hey, look at me, look at me. We're getting through this, okay? Together. This is not my doing. You must help me, I beg you. Please help me before it is too late. Push now, woman. Only the Almighty can forgive your sin. That is your only hope of salvation. Listen to me. I have committed no sin. The puppet I am condemned for is a child's plaything. Nothing more. I swear it. Do not swear it. me. The sickness you brought into our midst must be purged. <laughs> to free all of us and you from evil. You must burn. I beg you, stop. Do not do this. No, no, please, stop. Pray, Lord, for you to take the soul of this, our sister Tabitha, who has been led astray by the devil, and do with it as you will. Hey, there's Andrew. We missed him before. Exactly, I was thinking the exact same thing, Vicky. Oh, the woman we just saw, it was me. That, that means I'm Max. <laughs> Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. Thanks. I'm glad you're here. Let's keep on going to the church. That's likely where the rest are. Yeah, sure, I guess. Why would the church? Because it's a holy building? Or it's because it's further ahead in town? Because I don't think they ever mentioned to each other that they will go into the church or anything like that. I agree, we need to go somewhere and the church might as well be not the best thing. But it's not like they said, hey, you know what? Let's meet up at the church if we can. Okay, it looks weird, but yeah, it's the same. Can't happen, right? You could also say that uh, her tire swing that she went, made when she was younger has been burned down there on a pile of fire. Someone burning down her past? A hint? Interpretation? I have no idea. I must keep your... Ooh, the black cat. Feels like we're being followed. We are being followed. Hey! Get the fuck out of here! Back the fuck off, will you? That's her ghost. Oh crap, what the fuck is that? That's Tabitha. <laughs> run, okay, Vicky, run. Move, run! Oh. 
Oh, I'm gonna do the same thing for her. Okay, no miss presses. I know the buttons by mind. I, I don't have to watch it on my controller. I know where the buttons are. Careful now. Doesn't mean I cannot miss press, but I'm doing my utmost best there. Oh, she's still bound to the tree on her back. The reason we are have making choices between one and the other character is if you want to sacrifice one to the spirit. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna save everybody if we can. Maybe not John, but that's me. Keep moving, go! Yeah, but that's definitely uh Taylor's past. Is that Taylor? Taylor! Is that you back there? Get to the church! Run! Hey! One of those fucking things is after Get us! Get inside! Go! <laughs> I don't think he can see it. Hey! Are you crazy? You trying to get yourself killed? Get in here. Hey! Oh well. If he calls a cop, it's fine. They'd be safe. Where's Angela? She didn't make it. Nothing we could do. Three more bullets. You're kidding me. No, and we have to keep that thing outside, or we'll be joining her. Fuck. Look for ways in and out of here. Close them all off. Holy shit! Come on, we need a barricade here. Yeah, I saw that my relationship with uh, him went down. She probably wanted to hide. I didn't know that. Hey! Hey! Why the hell is that old fool still out there? Uh, the old guy lost it? Concerned. He's following us. Concerned. Looks like he's following us. Whatever he? he's up to, we can't trust I him. I know you're inside. If you hadn't lost your cool and taken that pot shot at him, maybe he'd be on his way. He doesn't get how much trouble we're in here. Get out here and look me in the eye! <laughs> Don't even think about going outside. You motherfucker, you! You take a goddamn shot at me! Quit hiding in there! We have to get rid of him. We're in deep shit if that thing hears us. This isn't you're in danger. I was trying to help. Defensive, yes. Hey, cool it. I was I was trying to help. Didn't you see that thing? What are you talking about? Ain't nothing out here. That thing out there killed my friend. Okay. So tell me what happened. Uh, afraid. So Miss Jason, my friend was taken. Afraid. I don't want to be sorrowful about Angela, so yeah. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but this thing, it it chased after us. You you gotta believe me. Stay here and watch what you're doing with that gun. Yeah, you're true, Vicky. They all know that I have a gun now. Not the best uh, reaction I had, but chose in the moment, you know what I mean? I should have not shot. I should have just let it go. You really think it was smart not to tell me that you had that gun? Uh, defiant? No, I will not apologize for it. Defiant. I can't believe you're getting mad at me. We got away, didn't we? 
This time, maybe. But next time, you could just as easily shoot one of us. <laughs> Professor? Andrew! It's me. I'm next. How you know? Priest, reverend, whatever. Made accusations against my double. Sounded serious. Another trial? Not this time. It sure looked like it was heading that way. And the girl? Mary? Yeah. She was there, all right. We secure in here? You find any other ways in? Sorry, Professor, I didn't check. <laughs> that is thing it? is still out there. Definitely out there. Look over there. We have to follow her. Whoever she is, she's tied up in everything that's happened here. What if you're right? What then? <laughs> if we can stop her, it could prevent any more harm happening to our doubles. Okay. Guard the door in case that thing comes back. You know, don't want to negate the harm against our doubles. We don't want our doubles coming after us. Because they are pissed that they're dead. So, yeah. to the clock tower there's no way out from there hey kid you out here <gasps> well uh, Vicky the two guys you wanted to say they're now together damn that was loud <laughs> Oh man. Whew. It pains me to say these words, but your punishment today will protect us all. Keep our town safe. Can you spare him? I beg you. This is hard for you, child. But one day you will understand and you will thank me. Go from this place, Mary. Your police cannot reach him. My fate is not a memory you should carry. Who will be my keeper if you are gone? Judge Wyman has instructed Abraham. He will be your keeper. A decision not all are in agreement with. <laughs> Every man will face his day of judgment. Yours is today. No! No! He was going to form the spikes, just I like uh, in the respect. prologue, his version he did. no longer of this earth. Only the damned and the devil can resist in this way. <sighs> yeah, that's definitely the same as how he died in the, in the fire in the beginning. Right? I'm not mistaken there. I think it's the same. But that picture of him being on those spikes rem so, seems so reminiscent. I have seen it before. I think it's in the prologue in the fire. Yeah, thank you. I really need a confirmation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He fell from the right roof. Oh, yeah, because he was on the I attic for some reason. right there nothing I could do uh, flippant welcome to the club sorry you had to no not flippant sympathetic I'm so sorry you had to go through that I know how much it messed me up fucking witch trials what's wrong with these people they killed that guy for no reason I'm sorry, this is fucked up. Now we know the pattern. 
Angela was killed after seeing her double executed. Taylor had a narrow escape from that thing. You see your double get it? Then you're next. <laughs> That's real reassuring. Thanks for sharing. Isn't it better to know what's gonna happen to you? <gasps> yeah. But there it is! That's what's been after us! We can't let it trap us up here. Okay, let's escape. I'm gonna make sure that uh, Daniel stays alive because his what double do is do coming. Now? With that thing outside. Quiet. It's out there. Listen. It's out there for now. What if it decides to come in after us? Maybe we're okay if we stay inside the church. Because. Because. It's a holy building. It's holy ground. A church? Maybe it can't come in. Really? It's a fucking vampire now? I'm just saying, this is a solid building. He's right. We're safer in here. We're staying put. Uh, panicking? Anxious. I think panic is the right reaction to a situation like this. That thing is hunting me just like before. It wants me. You don't get what we're dealing with. That thing out there is something fucking else. We gotta get away from it. Right? She's right, we need to split. <laughs> we stay here and it's snack time for that thing. Whatever we do, we stick together. Remember what happened to Angela? Okay, let's do this. We're going out the back. Amen right. to that. I don't know if it's the right choice, what but... the hell? I'm with that? it. Would... Another good reason to split. Let's yeah. go. I think that's Daniel's double we're hearing. <laughs> Don't question my decisions every time, Vicky. I make it in the choice moments Looks here. Clear. Stay close. I might not make the smartest decision, but so far everyone is alive. Angela has not seen that, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> there he is. Go! Daniel's monster. Escape. <laughs> Sorry, John. I still got an extra grind with you. All right, we got this. We can do this. Yes. Did we make the right choice by escaping? Okay, focus. I think I made the right choice. I think if we confronted it, it would have definitely taken us. Because we know it doesn't want John, apparently. Where are you? Taylor, come on! Talk to us! Commanding, we gotta do something, yes. We gotta do something now. Hold on! We need to be calm. Fuck calm! Taylor's in trouble! I don't know. Oh, what what the fuck? Go right? <laughs> no. Is that you? I'm over here. Taylor. 
Okay, I made the right choice, apparently. I don't know. Am I happy to see you guys? Thought I'd lost you. Still alive. We're still in big trouble here. Yes, and we are still in big trouble here. Yeah, true, true. But we are still alive. I think I saved Daniel, Vicky. I think I did. I think I, need I did. A break. We gotta keep moving. Can't stop. No, wait. He needs a break. Forget it. Those things are coming after us, not you. We can't hang around. Uh, practical, none of us are safe. Indignant, I keep telling you, stick together. I think practical, because everybody's ghost is eventually coming. I'm sure of it. None of us is safe. Not tonight. All right. What's our next move? I'm not sure. We should rest here for a while. <laughs> you asleep? That's impressive. I wish. No way I could get any shut eye after what went down tonight. Would love to, though. I'm beat. Any ideas how we're getting out of here? Uh, Stir, we must stop the girl. Thoughtful, we're trapped here. No, we're not gonna stop the girl. We're gonna let the girl do whatever the hell she wants. Thoughtful. The fog has us surrounded. There's no way through. We can't just do nothing. We need to figure out where the fog is coming from. I think the kid, Mary, is the key to finding a way through it. Getting to Mary, stopping her might help. Sure, okay, but what about the other kid? The one that keeps running from us? Mary and her are connected somehow, I'm sure of it. Maybe the other girl is trying to lead us somewhere. Where? I don't know. Maybe to a place we can stop all this. Everything feels out of control. I don't think there's anything we can do at this point. Mary's the key to everything that's happened. The trials, the executions. Sure, but how are we supposed to stop her? Not even sure she's real. <laughs> are we? Too late for us to do anything now. Bad it. This is over. Insistent, Mary's evil. Uh, defined, we have to try. I think Mary is evil, but doesn't mean the rest is. Mary may look like a kid, but she's the embodiment of evil. We have to stop her. It's not that simple. And like you said, she's just a kid. We can't... Listen to me. We see her again. We do whatever is necessary. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> shh, shh. Hell no, that thing is back to finish me off. Uh, instructive. Wait for a clear shot. Put the gun away. No. Put the gun away for now. Didn't you learn anything from almost killing that old man? Put it away. That old bastard isn't out here. This is something else. No, 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 no. Angela? Point that goddamn thing at someone else, will you? <laughs> Angela! <sighs> oh my god. Almost shot her. I thought I'd see you again. <laughs> I, I was sure you, you were gone. We thought, you know, we're all glad you made it. Stop it. You're gonna make me blush. But thank you. No one messes with you. <laughs> For sure. You are one tough lady. The whole crew is back together. You rounded everyone up. Good job. Mm, not quite. They found us. Right now, our priority is getting you safe. Let's go. We've come across more of those things since you left us. The thing that chased after me was horrendous. 
Now you're telling me there's more of them? What in God's name are they? You okay without your glasses? I most certainly am. There is plenty here I don't want to see. <laughs> you lost your glasses, but not your sense of humor. Good. You hear that? But yeah, Vicky's uh, right, uh, Mince. We saw her run away and scream. Close too. We didn't see her get caught. Just gotta keep moving. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Vic. <laughs> I'm doing my best, even if I'm a little resentful about John and want to kill him. So far, they're all survived. Let me help you down. <laughs> Hold up! Andrew, wait! <laughs> oh, I think it's time for Andrew's or John's ghost to pop up. Professor? Angela, you there? <laughs> uh, glad it scared you, Vicky. And hey, hopefully what? someone else as well. Focus. Andrew is not one I necessarily want to see dead right now. Damn, that's short. That's Guys. really short. Where the hell are you? What the hell? Get it, get it off me. Daniel, because I know Vicky wants that. That way I can I put the blame on her. Damn, he looks vicious. <laughs> That's it. There was a scene. Taylor! Yeah, one more bullet. We have one more bullet left. We're over here. All right, all right, all right. Out of there in one piece, I'll never know. Hold the celebrations. We're still cornered in shithole central. And the fucking mutants are still out there. We gotta keep moving. We have to go right now. So far, so good. <laughs> it is better to Damn. conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you. Not by angels or by demons. Heaven or hell. Perhaps you've started to realize something. <laughs> They're all a deck of cards, like characters in it. The King, Queen, Jack. But everything okay. and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. Three executions, three tormented beings, and so far your students have all avoided damnation, eternal suffering. Yeah, I'm trying Any my best here. <laughs> on what might be around the corner, hidden by the fog? Something wicked this way comes. <laughs> John's double, I, I presume. But yeah, 
Uh, means the date. It's also related to trials, right? Which date? Did we see another 1600 uh, date somewhere? Because if so, yeah, that is on the trial. Yeah, we definitely knew it was gonna die if we didn't help it, because that was what we saw on the card. But that's not the reason why I picked him. I picked him because he was basically the character uh, you preferred, basically. <laughs> Please, stay on the trail. Looks kind of steep. Yeah, I think we'll stick to the path. Yeah, yeah, we'll stick to the path. Yeah, that's where we came from. So this is the way we're going. And besides, if we don't come across anybody or we're being stopped, then I know I'm going the wrong way, but... I think we need to follow the trail, right? This may sound crazy, but... What if saving our doubles from execution is how we save ourselves? I was only hunted after my double was killed. I don't know if that's possible. Because the things happened in the past. Can we change the past? Which has already occurred. Is anything here not falling apart? <laughs> yeah, I will try to start it, to try to stay on the trail, uh, Mince. Because I know you're a fan of the witches. That's the side that you are picking right now. I am sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> Structure unsafe. Okay, we're definitely going to get in there. More hints. Show me a death. All right. Ooh, Mary Milton's grave. Mary's grave. There's nothing about how or why she died i think john killed her uh, not john himself but the character from in the way past because he was really mad about her that his wife died so maybe he's the one that took care of her maybe we'll see <laughs> he's definitely a suspect Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. <laughs> no, this cannot be. My own eyes deceive me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? <laughs> Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. But you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Keep suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. Are we going to get a choice to see what's going to happen to Mary? Are we going to make sure if we're going to kill her or not? You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. 
To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I'm not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did, like your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. <laughs> I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Uh, speak out against the girl. The priest is the villain. Definitely. The priest is definitely the villain. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. That's way off. We gotta stop the kid. No other way to do this. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. Am I making the wrong choice again? But I think the priest is definitely has his hand in there. Bad move there, man. Standing up for the kid is probably gonna do us all in. I hope you're wrong. For all our sakes. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No. Nope. We never even saw her. Fuck. Yeah, there is something very sus about the priest. And the text we got from the second hint from the curator that nothing si is as it seems. I think Abraham. he's talking about uh, about he was Mary. Thinking about testifying against Mary, but good boy Andrew talked him out of it. That was a smart move. Are you fucking kidding me? We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds. How you doing? Years ago. Not great. Demons from the past. Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. One thing That's I didn't great. see coming. Well, I feel like one of the team. I'm good with that. N never happens to me. Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame it had to be from witches and ghosts. Playful, we need a hero. Intent is here. No, playful. We could have used one of those, uh... <laughs> what do you call it? A paladin. A holy warrior. <laughs> holy shit. I never had you down as a game geek. There's a lot more about me you don't know. I'm full of surprises. You'll see. We need to get moving. Fuck this place and the stupid uh -oh. ass crash that got us here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Can escape if we wanted to. Taylor, where are you? Taylor, full of sounds. I think the movement was from a deer. Taylor! We got this, we got this. I do hope that we haven't condemned Daniel by making this choice. Oh, 
No, no, no. Misclick, definitely misclick. No! Ah, <sighs> all right. We got pretty far on what we had. Damn it! I really wanted to save her. I really did. One fraction of a second too soon pressed. <clears throat> I can't believe Taylor's gone. What the fuck? We need to get away from here. Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. Sorry, guys. Whoever watching this, I really tried. I really did. The mispress was an accident. Not a choice moment thing. Oh well, let's see uh, if we can do better with the rest. Taylor, I just can't believe it. This ain't happening. Oh man. What if we had given her the knife instead of keeping it on Daniel? Would it she use it to help herself? Would she have been saved then? Oh well. Nothing we can do about that now. We have to live with the choices we've made. Definitely. I'm just hoping that... Uh Eventually, they will all die, no matter what we do. <laughs> We're just postponing the inevitable. Uh, frustrated. I'm such an asshole. Sorrowful. Can't believe she's gone. No, sorrowful. Can't believe she's gone. It's not his fault. should be yelling at us to keep moving. To make it out. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We might have missed our chance. We must stop Mary. The only way out of this freaking nightmare is to stop Mary, stop her lying. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be yeah. a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong, and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Yeah. Let's take a look. There is something about Mary. That's all we can say. We just don't know what yet. This is where they are. So let's go this way ourselves. See what happens. Major Hill's land deal. First protest will surely escalate or closure looms. Yeah, more references to the prologue. Okay, they are coming this way, so maybe we need to go upstairs in order into the building. So I want to check the other side. Because we want to keep looking on for more postcards, more hints on what to do. No. Look at it. Look at it. Ooh. I'm guessing uh, John's double uh, really wants to, uh, let us say, hug it out. Alright, that's the only thing we have here, so... All else we're going to do is uh, go up the building. Um, 
It feels like this game can last for hours still. I, I, I don't see the exit just yet, what we need to do to get there. And we still haven't seen anything about... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. About John or Andrew. I'm sure they have a double as well. And 666, our future prosperity, Samuel Carver. Looks a little bit like the priest, to be honest, but yeah. Maybe the driver is actually the priest double. You get what I'm saying? Because he has been talk the character has been talking about the priest for a little bit. So maybe we Check still do out. something with that. Hey! They're coming! You can't keep running. I'll make sure they'll find you. <laughs> that guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. I have a feeling he's not talking about the monsters. I think he's talking about the cops. <laughs> been here for a long time now. Oh, man. Now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding cupboard in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. <laughs> Under him, would isn't you it? Be a new yeah. board, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. Oh, I don't want that to happen, to be honest. Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? Uh, no, I I'm gonna stay with my guns. I'm gonna pray for Mary. I'm not gonna... This is tough. I get that. It would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her. Stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. 
Oh, I don't like Carver. It's such a shady character. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! <laughs> so what happens now? This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. You agree with him? Uh, supportive. It went down like he said. It went down just like he said. <laughs> John's time? What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, Jones is coming. We saw the picture, so we know it's there. Look at those outfits. <laughs> this place shut down way, way back. Life as a kid in the 70s. Everything was ahead of me. There's got to be another exit. Maybe on the ground floor? In memory of James Clark, the father, yeah. Sadly missed by his family and friends. This must be where it worked. <laughs> Kiss my ass, Bob. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Vincent Barnes, subject employment warning letter. Following a recent disciplinary meeting, I'm writing regardless of your attendance and behavior. Management have uh, made efforts to accommodate your difficult circumstances with injury by accepting your recurring absences. However, continued warning regarding attendance, late intoxication, blah blah blah. You must announce receipt of this letter. Please sign and return it to the foreman office. On me. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, this is, still, this is the father. It's probably one of the reasons why he started drinking. I think what we saw. Get yeah. over here. You gotta see this. This is too fucking weird. <laughs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First. A load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Nobody knows. You think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir from this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. So it's going to play an important part what later on, that? isn't it? All this being a nightmare. You mean that? If it's my nightmare, why are you guys all in it? <laughs> Any of us could say the same thing. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So wait. Who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like, that really is. Hmm. Yeah, that's the judge. Thomas Wyman. Thomas represented over the conviction of several witches in Little Hope. He later regretted placement so much weight on the children's testimony. Current factor was founded on the side of Wyman's residence. Okay. Sam Nochier, Lemonston, February. Uh, having read Captain Bond's letter attending to the affair with a little hope, I heard the petition of the councilman. I write to express my signal. Concernment. 
Professor Carver, teaching straight from the true doctrine and piety, his mind wandered from the fellowship of saints and surrounded into sin over many years. Please attend to this past behavior which infects and corrupts the town. I ask a commission to be appointed to examine such affairs of last year, including the matter of the girl. Yeah. Mr. Carver is not to be trusted, no matter how you look at it. And that's why I'm trying to side with the girl. See if we can change anything by doing it that way. Little Hope Factory to close. Hundreds of layoffs. Yes. Definitely line with what we heard so far. Another factory closure. Alright. Last scene 550. Okay. What did they see? 550. Ooh. Someone's gonna be hidden in there. Wait, there was a boyfriend, right? In the beginning. What's the story here? Did yeah, Tanya. Some other guy. And again, with the sun symbol we saw earlier. Why? Hmm. There's still so many things I we do not know. So many questions. Okay. So what's your theory, smart guy? We're dead. You hear that? Right below us. We need to find a way out of here now. The the black guy, the guy that's after us, Finn's. It's Tanya's boyfriend. I didn't get that connection at all until now. Huh. The one we almost tried to shoot. <laughs> Trick fire caused by child's toy. Yep, that's the uh, the prologue we saw. <laughs> Are you getting the connection as well, uh, Mince? Damn, that I never put one and two together. I don't know if it's gonna mean anything, but still. That's heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. What's up? You take that side, I'll take this side. Push together, right? Yeah. Good. Vicky was one now, step ahead of us. <laughs> she knew it. Uh oh. This is not hey, good. This is definitely not good. Help! Stop trying to test us. Uh, attack. Daniel, take cover. Put another round in it. What the fuck is your problem? Come on! I don't think we have any more bullets left. Grab hold! Come on! Other arms as well? Get him out of there. Reckless. I need to get out of here. Come on. Come on. It's almost made it. I will not uh. sacrifice anybody. Uh. Oh, shit. Oh man, 
man. We're gonna end up with the entire party dead, isn't it? Kill your double, Daniel. Oh, I missed. Oh, mother. This game is brutal. One wrong move, one wrong move, and you're dead. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, man. So brutal. Them. With the other two games, you had a little bit of reprieve. If you made one mistake, that's fine. But with this one mistake, and you're dead. Damn it! So sorry. I am doing my best here. <laughs> but I thought it was going to be a button press instead of an aim. So my fingers were on the wrong button already. And then I need to readjust myself, and that's why I missed. It's Damn. over. He's gone. Hello. Angela, you're still alive. <laughs> yeah, I did miss the shot. Fuck. Uh, did John not go on purpose? The witch is craven. Yes. <laughs> I am the true evil. Gone. But it could come back any time. We have to keep moving. Yeah, I think John let go on purpose. I think he did. Damn, I really am wondering if... Are we gonna... Okay, are we gonna have anybody alive at the end of this? I was so confident I could keep them alive. Damn, that really uh, shook me up. All your mistakes, were they really mis- Are you judging me, Mince? Are you saying that I purposely let them die? Wasn't my shock genuine for you enough? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Look, if John dies later on, I don't mind, but... The rest, I really care for those characters. I really like them. Professor? These two? Hell no. Hey, John. Andrew? I'm right here! <laughs> You're the witch! <laughs> Am I pleased to see you? Don't burn me just yet, Same Mince. Here. Don't burn me just yet. Oh god. Hey, <laughs> Angela's next. Oh, they're gonna keep on coming until they're dead, isn't it? Because that was definitely Amy. The other sign, the sun. There is symbolism here that I don't know if it's just for a collectible or it actually means something. Burn in hell. Nice. We'll try uh, to forget I just saw this. Release. Mr. Clark, leaving a little hope police department yesterday. A line has been drawn until a tragic case of Clark House on the fire. Onlookers looked as Anthony Clark, the only survivor of the blaze, was released from the police. He did survive, didn't he? Uh, Blaine Clark was found out with a box of mesh in his hand at the scene. He was called for the fire. When Clark left the little hope police department, passes by were hurt too. Burn in hell. So yeah, so he did survive. So is Andrew the true evil? Orchestrating everything behind the scene. Is this Andrew here Anthony from back then? I don't think so. It was because it was like 30 years ago, but still. You see that?
Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. No one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must there die it is. Today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. <laughs> I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph. Do you renounce yeah. the devil and all his teachings? I really believe uh, Carver is at the center of everything. No I'm no disciple of the devil. I've found his infection in madness. Roy, you but saints, servants. We have to stop this. Help Joseph confront Mary. Help Joseph. No more doubting. This is witchcraft. More stones. <laughs> the devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little Orp rests in your hands. He's a broken man, isn't he? <laughs> We're screwed. There is no way out from this nightmare. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? What the hell is that? What are you doing? I'm done running! Time for payback for Taylor and Daniel! Are you crazy? We gotta move! <laughs> oh crap. Reassuring resentful. Please hurry. Fists are aimed. mistakes <laughs> oh, that's creepy. That, that is so creepy. Ah, 
come on. Picture. We gotta go, like now. Uh, leave me and go. Yeah. I don't Maybe the it. game wants me to be heroic. To deserve to live. Be a good person. Yeah, that character of him is really creepy. Now. Place looks like it burned down. We're still alive, those two. Something here isn't right. What's new? Nothing here feels right. I have to say, I may have said it again, but I'm really enjoying this game. <laughs> I'm not enjoying this chair I'm sitting on, but I'm enjoying this game nevertheless. <laughs> Alright, let's walk back a bit. Well, hello there. So, I need to go upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna learn that Carver was at the base of all this. He's the one that made everything happen. Yeah, really, really creepy. Uh, do we go upstairs or do we go after John and Angela? So it might be optional uh, what the girl upstairs is doing. <laughs> what the hell is this? I'm feeling those are premonitions of the next game in line, not this one. I'm gonna go upstairs first. I, I think she's trying to tell us and we don't want to be distracted by the rest of the monsters. Uh, dear Anne, thanks for reading your letter regarding Megan. I understand your concerns, but I assure your daughter's rebellious behavior is not unusual. I've helped parents with similar issues and would be happy to help with Megan's moral guidance. Say that all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields peaceful and fruit of righteousness. Please see me after service on Sunday. We can arrange some time, some personal instruction. Yes. Who the fuck was it exactly? I mean, the thing that's not from this game, that they're being very tricky by adding something that's not from the next game in the series. Because it's way too late to get the key. It's far, it's far too late uh, to add a new character in. Grab the key. Alright, so it's nothing. The key is probably from uh, twisting to make it work, but yeah. I 
You know what? Uh, I'm so in doubting where I need to go right now. Cause I don't want to miss anything important. Begging five. All right, I will go by jo John and uh, Angela then. The tire swing from Taylor. Is this where she lived all those years back? Even though she doesn't remember it. James and Anne, 48. You're gonna wanna see this. Angela and I were married. This makes less and less sense. Does it though? More than success in parenting, okay. <laughs> Setting limits. go upstairs because seeing as these monsters are downstairs we are going upstairs <laughs> oh god they're gonna come after them isn't it we need to figure out what's going on once we figure out what's going on we can make it stop you hear that i did can only be the girl let's go find her She's in here. <laughs> Stay here. Hey, Bigfoot, find the goddamn vital, will you? Andrew, what are you doing? No way. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested little hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. Hm. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. But it has always belonged to Mary, and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar! Now the tit, child. This creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Whatever she pulls, do not fall for her little girl act. She may be a child, but there's no doubt she means harm. She's malicious. It no, she's not. To bring harm to this town. Or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I don't this see child how. of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. Carver's evil? There's something wrong with that. Carver is evil. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver. He's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. 
Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. He's right. Listen to what he's saying. Carver is to blame. What must I do to bring little Hawk back into the light? I fear the Reverend and what he is capable of. Destroy the damn doll. You have to stop Carver. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. Ooh, I'm taking a big risk, but I've believed this from a very long time ago in the story. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickened me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! <laughs> Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing! The devil's daughter has deceived you all! Not me! I see her! I see her! Satan's hall! You will pay heavily for your crimes! I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you! I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. Time will tell if I made the right choice. <laughs> I can't believe it's finally over. Is it? You protected the girl, and you were right about the priest. He was the genuinely evil one. Let's get out of here. Tell me what happened. You see the girl, Mary? I think finally, this whole nightmare is over. Uh, I really hope so. Time will tell, that's for sure. Yeah, is it though? <laughs> that's what we're gonna see in a moment. If the monsters come back. Was I right? Was I right to believe Carver is the evil? I think I was. Hey! I'm talking to you! Hey! You should have stayed away. Never come back here. I'll never forget or forgive you for what you did. I don't want any trouble, okay? We're going, and we're not coming back. The only place you should be heading is hell, you goddamn murdering son of a bitch. That's him! What? Look out. That son of a bitch has a gun. What the hell is this about? You seem a little confused. No, please. Wait. You don't understand. The person is different than what we saw in the premonition. What? What the... We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Andrew was the bus driver all along? 
Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. What? <laughs> so in this ending... Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Because we were the driver all along. Oh, I definitely need to play this game again after a while. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. You need a clear head. You, you take a goddamn shot at me. Quit hiding in there. Hey, cool it. I was, I was trying to help. Didn't you see that thing? What are you talking about? Ain't nothing out here. <laughs> hey, they're coming. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. This is so it's weird. Okay. I'm gonna be just fine. It was all in his head? Oh, I definitely need to see the other endings. I really need to do that. Because how can anybody survive if they're not real? Are there other endings that they are real? Weird. I don't know if I need to be disappointed or not. Intrigued? That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a bad effort. Some found redemption, some didn't. All you're doing. And you eventually found him, the bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. Well, that does explain why when he showed the five cards, they were all the king. Because they were all him. It does explain a lot. Till we meet again, maybe in the South Pacific, or the Arabian deserts, or somewhere else. But we will meet again, at least one more time. <laughs> two more times, at least. Because I know there were two other stories in the making. Yes, bonus. Yeah, I have to say, alright, I like this game way more better than uh, Man of Medan, by leaks. Is it better than Until Dawn? No. I think I like Until Dawn the best, then this one, and then Man of Medan. What do I think about the ending? I actually don't know, because the story afterwards is actually really good. Nice scary parts in it, monsters were great. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, it was way better than Man of Medan. They redeemed themselves, because after Man of Medan I said, is this it? Is this all they can do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm conf I'm still confused by the ending. That nothing was actually real. It was all in his head of somebody that lost his family and got his ex got uh, accused. Well, he was not the one that did it. No, I never saw it coming as well, Vicky. I didn't. I really didn't see it coming. And that's one of the things that impressed me the story. Yeah. Really nice, really nice. We enjoyed the living heck out of it. I'm gonna see if uh, what I was watching if one of my friends is. But yeah, if I need to get this a number, I think an 8, 8.5, definitely well earned. And I'm definitely gonna play it again, just to see the other endings, cause... What if there's an ending that the characters are actually real, and it's not Andrew as a bus driver? Well, let's see who's online. Cause I did see a friend come online, don't know if he's still there. No, he went offline already. Oh well. Uh, Mince, that was a very imaginative mind, though. Yeah, very, very. And that's the thing. The story is so set up, so complex, that the characters could have been real. We just didn't know it yet. The way it's played out, we could have just as well figured out that the bus driver was Carver in the end, if we let him destroy Mary. Who knows? And that's intriguing. The, if you make a game about choice, the real way you can see if you did it right is if in the end you cannot be for certain how other endings will, will go or what the consequence would be from the choices if you made it differently. And that's a sign of a game we did choice right. And they really did it here. I'm genuinely impressed. So yeah. Skip to the end. Do you want to skip to the end or do you want to let it go? We could. Um, I don't think I'm gonna rate anybody because no one I know is online at the moment. Uh, Vicky, I do wonder if he's a bus driver in every ending. Yeah, me too. I, I really mean that. I I'm hoping that one or two of the endings is that the characters are actually real and they escape. Maybe if we save everybody, that's like the true ending. The same thing you have with Until Dawn. Yeah, that you had a true good ending and a true bad ending. Like, the true bad if you killed everybody and a true good if you saved everybody so yeah yeah this like i said this game has a lot of replayability definitely and uh, crimson did say he wanted to play it with me once on stream so that has to happen and that way we can see some other stuff as well do have to agree with him on how we want to play it saving everybody or killing everybody but yeah like I said, well worth the play. Definitely worth it. A lot better than Man of Dan than it was. And I'm hoping now, now I've seen this, I can't wait on what the other story is gonna be. And I think one of the premonitions we got, the one of the girl hanging by a thread, I think it's not this game. I think it's the next one. Or the one after that. Cause it did say that uh, two places up for new games. Who knows? Uh, Mince, I was looking for the middle part, but I like it. <laughs> I did enjoy it. Oh, thank you. And Mince, this is going to be on YouTube. And of course, for anyone else watching this at the moment as well. Uh, I'm going I'm to render this, put it up on YouTube in full. So people can rewatch it if they want. And I can rewatch it as well. Like I said, I did really enjoy it. And who knows? Maybe some other people will enjoy it as well. And if you're still watching this on YouTube after all this time. Write down in the comments what you think of it, what your number would be. And if you have played it, don't try to spoil it for anybody else. <laughs> that means, Mom, I'm on TV! <laughs> yeah, I can put your picture up if you want, so no problem. <laughs> no, let's not do that. Damn. 
There's a lot of credits. There's a lot of people uh, that has work on this game. We can't skip to the end. Maybe if we wait, we'll see like an extra ending or anything like that. But yeah, for the rest, uh, next stream will be this Monday. Tomorrow I have my day with my, my uh, friend of mine, Pascal. I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna play some games, watch some movies. I'll be back at night, and Monday we'll be back with Trails in the Sky, just like we normally would. And of course, I will be working in the background with a lot of other YouTube videos as well. Ooh, is it the end? Are we at the bottom of the credits? Do we get like a prologue or something from the next one? You yes! Preview of the next game. We'll start believing. That's her. We are under attack by. I don't know what. You wouldn't believe me even if I try. Hell, I don't believe it, and I was there. Damn! Again, a totally different tone. They say the souls of the dead went deep under the Hey, we saw the statue. Also, in the previous game, uh, in the game we just played, where uh, uh, Angela was standing in front of it. House of Ashes. 2021. Damn, I, I'm, will, I'm looking forward to it. They redeemed themselves after Man of with this one, and I can't wait to play the rest as well. Ooh, and I got an achievement for watching all the credits. <laughs> nice. Don't have to do that again. All right, that's it. That's definitely it. Guys, I want to thank anybody who's still here for uh, watching. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Um, if you like and you haven't followed me yet, feel free to give me a follow. Uh, like I said, I will be back this Monday with Trails in the Sky. And of course, also next week, we finished Last of Us uh, Part 2 yesterday. So it's also going to be a no horror this week. So probably on Tuesday, definitely on Friday. So I hope to all see you again then. Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. Till next time. Bye-bye.